Oh boy, what's up everybody? How are we doing? You don't hear the plane of zoom man, you don't. Stop. Giving away all the secrets. Shh. <laughs> but how are we doing everyone? Welcome into the stream. Hopefully we're all having a fantastic Friday. Hopefully you had a good week as well. Give yourself a pat on the back, you did it. You made it through the week and you made it to Friday, you made it to a weekend. And I am, whoa, the music got really loud in my ears. <laughs> and I am really excited for the weekend uh, because that means that Community Showcase is tomorrow. So yeah, don't forget that first off, that we have Community Showcase tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you get all of your things in on the Discord tonight by 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time there. But welcome in everyone, good to see ya. Hope we're having a good one. Hello, Alpha, Crowny, Moonlight, Leaf Productions with that red lion there. Cyber's here nice and early, as well as Mass Bandit, who's ditching school. Mass Bandit decided to play hooky from work today. No, he probably just has a day off. What's up, Jake Campbell and Harry Scott? And I love your zoos. And there's the gecko, G-Rex. And Domez made it in, holy heckaroony. We got everyone there, so. I wish I heard, there you go, yeah. <laughs> um, so nice, before you've made it a few more hours, so there you go, he's playing hooky at work. No one no one yell, no, no one yell at him or anything. So first, before we get going with the title of the video, so that's not completely clickbait, uh, first we're gonna look at the birdhouse, because I did a little bit of work, a little bit. Not, not, not a lot. <laughs> I ended up playing Hearts of Iron 4 last night instead of uh, working in Planet Z, to be completely honest with you. Oh, how you doing, Cyrus? Good to see you. Shh, I won't tell anyone. It'll be our secret. It'll be our secret. So cool, let's go ahead and head in, because yeah, I started on the For the Birds gifts here, the little gift shop area as you first come in, and I'm kind of digging it. This is like the fourth or fifth iteration of um, a gift shop that I did for this area. The first one, I kind of had it all walled off, uh, and it didn't really like it all walled off. The second one, I had only like a half wall coming through here. Uh, that was looking a little bit more. Uh, then I did an idea with the glass walls, uh, thinking like your normal mall like shop front with the glass kind of facade. And um, that, that was getting better, but then I just decided, you know what, just get rid of it all. And we're gonna end up putting uh, a lot of really, like, here, let me actually show you. I have them from just Goron. Uh, here they are, these gift shop magnet boards. So not only these, but things like this to kind of filter traffic. So we'll have little stands and this is from Eben, Iben, as some people like to call. Uh, <laughs> uh, just little islands, you know, we'll put like a, we'll build like a wood island underneath this or something like that. Um, so yeah, just kind of, uh, this is kind of the open concept, I guess you'd say for it there. So yeah, there you go, open concept, yeah. Um, so and then you have this little like sunroof area here as well too. Originally I didn't have any open uh, like atrium or whatever you want to call this, like, you know, greenhouse kind of vibe, but I figured since the rest of it has a whole bunch of this going on as well, that we, we should kind of continue that old school kind of sun sunroom vibe there, so. Pics have looked amazing as gift shops. Uh, great, thanks so much. Uh, looks like an add-on like they decided to make. Add then, yeah, and that's what a lot of this is gonna be, is I'm trying to go kind of back, whoa, we're in the walls. I'm in the walls. I'm trying to go back and forth with this whole build like that, because this building, um, before we get going, a little backstory. So this building, I'm trying to make very similar looking to this building back here, which is the small animals house, which I built way, way long ago. Um, and I want it to look similar to these buildings here, which is the old college or old education complex. That's more like a museum nowadays. And like this building, which is my old reptile house. So I want all of those structures to kind of have the same vibe to kind of make it look like they all came from the same era of the zoo. Um, I guess kind of this building as well. So all kind of from that original or older style zoo. So yeah, they have that older architecture overall, but kind of like how Mass pointed out, the building has a bit of a uh, identity crisis of time, essentially. <laughs> you know, through the decades, they've been like, oh, we're gonna renovate this side, and oh, now it's, you know, 10 years later, we're gonna renovate this area here, and oh, hey, that little area there, maybe we can put a gift shop there now, and like, you know, so yeah, that's just kind of the idea of it there. So let's go ahead and head in there. Um, hey, Crystal, you are early, yes. So here is the first room as we come into the birdhouse here, the birdie bird's house, and shout out to Billboard, just all the time. Shout out to Billboards for making this basically this entire idea come to fruition. Cause I saw everyone posting pictures of the awesome backdrops. And I was like, oh shoot, birdhouses do that all the time. Uh, so yeah, I found a, a lot of really cool uh, 
reference photos from the Lincoln Park Zoo's birdhouse, uh, St. Louis Zoo, and the National Zoo. There we go. The game kind of hangs every few minutes for me now in this zoo, so if it stutters, that's why. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Just little random bird exhibits all over the place. Come back through here. Um, shout out to the workshop for all these little Purell, like all these little details. Excuse me, all these little details all over the Purell, the fire extinguisher, stuff like that. Kind of attribute that automatically to the workshop for the most part. Same with the birds. These are Drox kookaburras. Or no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the blue mollies, right? I think that's what they're called. Um, but yeah, these are Drox uh, implied birds. However, this next room, yes, yeah, so this next room has, if you didn't see it yesterday, we have kookaburra in here. And these are actually mods. The modders have broken through and are making birds now in game. And they're actually almost being able to import custom props essentially so that this right now this takes over the seagull this kookaburra that nicholas lion rider made um this takes over the seagull in game from the aquatic pack there and um <clears throat> excuse me uh so yeah as right now it takes over that but hopefully soon it will be not taking over an animal that's kind of what they're working on now so between the exhibit animals uh and the props not taking over something hopefully we'll have something that resembles birds and fish and stuff like that there so that looks really cool so shout out to the modders for just every day breaking through <laughs> and doing amazing stuff there um cool let's head over this way here's a, a lot of people like this idea this is these membership membership sign up table there. I'd imagine that there'd be like a staff member always assigned here. Uh, little reason why there's not, because you can kind of sneak that with uh, the in-game stuff going on, but I don't have any paths. There's no paths in this entire building because early on I decided to do all this. Uh, f paths, basically. <laughs> big time f paths. Oh, snap is right. Yeah, big time, oh, snap. Um, so yeah, there's no paths here, so I couldn't do the little uh, trick with getting a staff member to kind of uh, hang out there. Maybe we'll get Frank, maybe Frank, right? Uh, so then we'll head over this way into our wetlands marsh area. A lot has changed in here and it's very under construction because I did make the choice, the decision to expand this out. Um, I made it one square bigger and you can, again, you can see that I just kind of got started on this right before stream. But I think that this does it a lot more justice than before. Again, uh, if you didn't see the uh, live bit of it, this was only about this it wasn't here it was only that and it was one shorter as well so i think this just lets it breathe a lot more we were very cramped <laughs> there was like 14 i think there was 14 uh bird species in um uh, in here and they were cramped into this itty like you can see where the reeds are that's kind of where they were uh cramped in and everything so i just kind of made the uh, choice to expand it out so i'll take the time not in this stream because we're doing something different um but we'll take the time in the other uh by myself basically to uh fix this up make it look nice there but guess who made it asshole goose asshole goose who's peering in is still uh, still made it we decided that there should be a little uh, asshole canadian geese goose excuse me uh that peers into all the animals that are stuck inside the uh habitat there and he's just sitting there you know he's just sitting there being a butthead too he's just like nah you guys are in there and i'm out here because i'm a goose because so fuck you <laughs> um so i'll get that all finished up so when i do a final tour you uh y'all will be able to see that and then yeah this is kind of the last little room that we worked on yesterday and, oh, you know what? Before we get going down this way, I want to try something. I blow out this entire wall here, because this goes back to the beginning, where we, uh, where we started there. Mm, it might look good with a wall in the way. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that open floor plan concept a little bit more, actually. Yeah, that does look kind of nice, so we just have to still cover up some stuff. This last little bit still under construction, but I kind of like how it just flows all the way through like that in comparison to putting a wall with a door. Well, no, no, they would need that because, no, these are caged in, so they wouldn't need it. The only reason why you put doors in these other ones is so that the birds can get out because they were open air, essentially. These birds in here that we'll get to are caged in. So actually, you know what we could do in the open air? And a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so yeah, as you come in here, shout out to Bold for these awesome billboard signs. What's in a beak? There you go. Did another join the herd thing there with the one of the coin press, press a penny, and all that fun stuff. Uh, these are the what was it? The burrowing owls, the or whatever the owls were called. Y'all were good at this stuff, so uh, these are I think burrowing owls or a little desert exhibit there. And then the African weaver bird. And we have these little baskets where they could go in and make little uh, 
you know, nests and stuff like that, then yeah, we boop out to here where obviously this is all still kind of a work in progress. So yeah, there is the birdhouse, probably about, I don't know, 85 to 90% done there. And yeah, this is really fun. This is a lot of fun to build there. Again, shout out to billboards, because <laughs> I wouldn't have done this idea without billboards there, but this is what it looks like on the outside so far, and just gotta do a little bit more um, kind of sketching and etching there, and we'll get it going. Hey, Linda, how you doing? Hey, Sofana, uh, gaming hyena. Thanks so much, everyone. Yeah, I know it's been a lot of fun. Hey, Todd, good to see you. So there is the birdhouse in its current iteration. And here's some other just little, um, if it's been a bit since you've seen Thornton Hill Zoom, starting to get just the last bit. This is it right here. This is it, then I'm done. Then I finally finish. Uh, I finally finished this fucking project. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for Thornton Hill Zoo right there. And I have backstage too, but uh, that, that'll take just a hot second to be honest with you uh, to, to do. But other than that, after that little plot is all filled out, Thank you so much. That, that'd be it for my uh, for Thornton Hill Zoo there, which basically filled up the entire map. Right here is the edge of the map, by the way. I can't fill in this or anything, but. Hey, thanks, John, appreciate that. So, but today, 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 what we're gonna focus on, and this might look a little bit different to people already, is um, we're gonna be doing a mixed species habitat. And this came from an awesome comment uh, on a recent video where someone recommended doing a mixed species habitat of the uh, the Babarusa, <laughs> yeah, the Babarusa, the Berbiscus monkey, and the Malaysian tapir. Uh, now I believe that in game those animals can hang out together. Even if they can't, I, I don't care. Uh, we'll still put them together <laughs> essentially. Um, but oh hey, tangent. If y'all didn't see yesterday's stream um, as well, shout out to Lee for making a chin strap penguin. Looks so good. That's up on the workshop. Now we're gonna be taking another look at this tomorrow for the community showcase. But yeah, those three animals make they uh, recommended doing a mixed habitat for them, and it'll be like they said a transition into the Australia area, which is right. Oh boy, my dog's barking. Um, which is right here. The Australia section is right here, so they were like it's uh, kind of an Australasia. Is that how you pronounce it? Australasia section that'll have these three animals kind of leading into the Australia section there, so. I thought that was a pretty nifty idea there. Any hints to the next project? No, not really, because I don't really fully know what I want to do for my, oops, wrong way, uh, for my next project. I just know that I do have a lot of inspiration for building in general right now, and uh, Planet Zoo just happens to be the game that, I, there we are, game that I'm playing a whole bunch of. So it might honestly feel a lot like Thornton Hill Zoo, just real toned down, or real like scaled down, I should say, as far as like the map goes and stuff. I, I'm not doing another full on map. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so yeah, I'll probably still be in my same kind of style there. Just uh, not as grand. What do these, what do these monkeys like to do, except for have weird noses, like which, you live there, yeah, I configured that much. You like to climb on stuff, for sure, because you're a monkey. Social needs, three to 12, up to nine males and 18 females. So you need to, okay. Shut up, cat, right? Shut up, dog. Barking at the wind. Back at the moon. How many do we have? So we have one, two, three, we have four males, so we have eight all day. So we're gonna keep it there. Yeah, we're gonna keep it right there with that many. We don't need a whole bunch because we have other animals to put in too. So, uh, what is it? Malaysian tape here? Malaysian tape. Oh my god, I can't. I forgot about this. Look what Leaf made. <laughs> we're gonna look at this tomorrow too. Look at this. <laughs> this is a standalone mod as well. So you can just plop that in willy nilly. But it's a pig. <laughs> there you go. It's a pig. Oh dang, I hate how it resets. And I just really don't like the the page system for the UI now either. I will mention that every single day. Mountain tape. Oh no, that's another mod from Leaf, I believe. I want the Malaysian tape here, not the mountain tape here. They differ. Where, 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 where? There it is, jeez. Malayan, not Malaysian. Okay. What do y'all, what what's up with y'all? Tell me about yourselves. One to two. Oh yeah, you're like super duper shy and all that fun stuff. Now what page was that on? <laughs> God. All right, so one male, 
one female. Dewey! That <laughs> makes me think about Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, cool, and then the... Proboscis monkey there. Oh, and then the Babarusa. The Babarusa. Not the Binturong, I guess. I thought it was the Binturong at first, but no. Babarusa. You check out all these mods? Yeah, no, again, um, for those of you that haven't checked out any mods yet, especially the standalone mods, uh, you know, they're pretty, pretty amazing there. They're all, there they are, all done up. But yeah, check out Planet Zoo Nexus. Just type that into Google. And um, I always go through the, I always check recently updated or, um, yeah, recently uploaded. Um, usually get a good amount of really awesome mods there. All right, Bob Bruce, so tell me about yourself. Except that you're kind of screwed when it comes to your tusks sometimes. Females tend to live in small groups with their offspring. Barbarusa males are solitary. Looks like we're getting a bunch of chicas. We're getting a bunch of girly girls. Oops, I must have get um four four of us we'll have four babarusas eight proboscis monkeys and two tapirs all right let's catch up with chat there yo winker yep right <laughs> But not forever in a day. Yeah, it's, I, this is the most I've been on Nexus in a long time, probably since the uh, RCT3 days, right? I believe it was Roller Coaster Taken 3 that went through Nexus. Hey, Troy! Custom crew in Bro Nation. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta get like a custom modders roll or something like that. Very 80, it is very 80s today, yep. Yep, we're, it's uh, Synthwave. The, the person that we normally listen to that does all the electronic music and all that other stuff that we listen to, they uploaded some Synthwave today. So I thought, uh, you know, we'll give that a group. Quite a group, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think that's too many or like that should be good? Like, I think it'll be good because we're going to have this be actually a pretty sizable uh, habitat. Well, it's going to have to be, right? It's going to have to be. So I think it's going to kind of stretch around this way. And we're going to have it kind of loop like this. Either that or go around like this, kind of do a little Yui. A U well, it'll, it'll probably go like this and we'll have the backstage kind of stuff over that way, so. Do modded species have multi-species bonus? Uh, yes, I believe some of them do, correct? I'll let the modders add into that, actually. They can answer a lot quicker than um, I can looking at it. But I believe, yeah, they're like fully done up and all that kind of fun stuff there. Some do, there you go, thanks Linda. Jeez, yeah, man, let's go back to work. Gosh, you bum. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. I'll talk to you on uh, Sunday at the latest there. We are starting a fun one-off uh, D&D campaign on Sunday. It'll probably, I think it's going to be two or three sessions. But, um, yeah, we're starting a pre-made one, I think it is. A pre-brew or a home... Not a, it's not a home brew. I can't... I don't know the exact wording. <laughs> uh, I'm still a DMD noob a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's called Oops All Goblins. And we have to all pick uh, different classes or whatever. Yeah, we were all starting at level as level 5 goblins, and we had to pick our class. So I picked a level 5 dueling fighter, because I've never done that before. Um, yeah, but there's already, like, a whole big backstory written up for it, and Jaunty's gonna be the dm for it and stuff like that yeah we had to we had to kind of bring this in because uh some of our members i think sdn and a few others are pretty busy coming up the next few sundays so we've uh we've kind of had this this story basically ready in our in our back pocket for when a situation like this arises um so it is now that time Ooh, you know what i forgot that i did this over here can you explain what the different squares are on the terrain stamp? Um, I'm shit at using it. The different squares on the terrain stamp. Uh, I don't know what each square means, but I do know that, like, you know, you have your add terrain, so that's gonna... So it's just kind of showing where the, each terrain piece is going to form. So if we click that, you can see that the terrain conformed right to this triangle right here, this square. Um, and then if we control Z, do the same thing. 
with the minus, or you can also hit shift and lower and this does the same thing. So it's just kind of showing you where it's going to conform to. The different colors. Ooh, the different colors. I believe it's just, it's going, it's telling you it's not going to do it. It's just not going to do it. So I think yellow is kind of saying like, you know, you're getting into an area where it's, it's not going to be able to do it. Then when it's red, the terrain won't change there. So see how it did a hard, uh -uh. and if we do it right here, like, wow, we can actually do it right there. It's just nothing changed because it's all red. And then yellow, I think is just kind of letting you know, like, okay, you're getting closer. You're getting closer. But yeah, so I think that's what the colors are used for there. <clears throat> I am a goblin, you're right, that's true. <laughs> so, all right, so I had this idea, because I forgot that we had this little lower part right here, that we could have like an underwater viewing area, because aren't the Malayan, well, I guess some underwater would be not a total waste, but I guess it would still be cool. It's always cool to have underwater viewing. <laughs> and one of these animals has to kind of swim underwater a little bit. But yeah, with the path coming down right here, we can get some cool little bit of terrain bits going on here. I believe that uh, Mass just went back to work there, Martin. <laughs> I believe he said he had to head back into work. Eh, not that far out. Well, you know what? Yeah, why don't we do it that far out and have it be like a trail. Like a little one-off trail here that you almost have to like sneaky peeky get to the underwater viewing or whatever. Dang it, Totter! Notifications are trying to mess you up all the time, I swear! Don't forget, just 1 p.m. Central or 2 p.m. Eastern is kind of the, the go-to. Uh, but we are doing the Malayan Tapir, the Proboscis Monkey, and the Babarusa. So it'll be about right here-ish. So let's put our Agua. Out here. because none of them deep dive. Good to know, thank you, Harry. That is the kind of information that us builders need to know. Right, we don't need to know the, the details. We just need to know, I guess we'll just make it this height. Because they're not gonna deep dive anyway, so it doesn't need to be deep. We just need to know the basics of the animal, right? How do I need to build it? How deep does the water need to be? How tall, how tall do the trees need to be? All right, cool, we're good. <laughs> You don't get bored easily, Cons. You don't know what to work on now. Ooh, yeah, you're kind of in a in an in-between area, aren't you? You're just like, hmm, I could go into, you know, X Zoo, or I could go into Y Zoo, or I could go into. <laughs> just buy two more computers, Linda, and have all zoos up at once. Boom. Solved. So then, and then get a whole bunch, then have a rolling chair if you don't already, and then just like set up your kitchen or your, yeah, your living or whatever. <laughs> and just roll between all of the, uh, roll between all the computers and just keep, keep playing all of them. Like, okay, now I'm going to do some of this zoo and now I'm going to come over here to this zoo. something on rust I don't want on see how it's kind of oh actually that didn't work out too bad yeah I had the wrong the flat top at a little bottom no I just wanted the flat top on that's okay select all let's try moving this again maybe get it a little bit flatter no Name it Babarusa Bobby. Bobby Rusa! I love it. Don't let me forget. Hold, keep me honest there, uh, Potter. <laughs> Alright, let's open this up just a little bit more. Maybe we can put 
what would be a little, let's see, what, what's another animal that we haven't put in here yet? We did the exhibit animal. What's a small, or it could be an implied one too, but what is a small little implied or just whatever exhibit that we can put right over here? And by over here, I mean, I didn't realize I didn't take off the whole area I was talking about. Uh, right here. I think we could fit in another little exhibit right in here. That leads eventually over to there. And I want this to be really foliaged up over here. Like, again, really sneaky with, like, little trails and stuff like that. Hey, Level Wolf and Theseon! Oh, it's, it's Level Wolf and Theseon today, everyone. They're in a plot together. They're, they're in a plot together. Because they came in at the same time. Anytime two people say hello, like, at the, at the exact same time, we all have to assume the worst. That they are plotting to take over the channel or the world or... <laughs> Oh, get, Estia, would you go on, get? Damn it. Gotta increase the security in this goddamn place, I swear to God. They just let any mongrel in here. Did I, I, I learn something new today, Theseia? Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> I learned something new. So, all right, so I'm in the middle of building a dome for penguins and they keep swimming through the glass barrier and escaping. I have no idea how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it either. That sounds nuts. That sounds nuts in a butts. Nuts in a butts. <laughs> That's, I, I, I dig it. Everyone, new summer saying, nuts in a butts, 2021. I'm going to do a null bear because I want to do a curvy curve there. There we go. I don't know if I can do this music much more for building. It's a little bit droney. Not that I don't like it, just for building. It's a little bit droney and uh, making me kind of space out. Maybe that's the point of it, though. Dab on the haters, that's Dan. <laughs> hey, Becca. Roscoe P. Coltrane there for a moment? Oh, yay. <laughs> hey, Blake, welcome in. Did Estian just call my chat his people? Wow, Estian. Wow. I see how it is. I see where the power struggle's coming from. It's been in my own backyard the whole time. All right, what animal, y'all? <laughs> it might have to be an implied one. Because we have a, quite a few animals in here, and for such a small area, we could do lemurs, maybe. We already have a lemur habitat. I think we have two of them, actually. No, we already have two lemur habitats. <laughs> Never mind. I could do them. No, I'm not doing any modded animals for this zoo, because it's already so close to being done. Someone asked that the other day if I'm going to put in any modded animals, except for the one that's a replacement uh, mod, the, uh, the kookaburra, because that's going to look like a seagull. Uh, for those that don't have it, uh, no, I'm not going to because it's just so late in the zoo's lifespan here. So yeah, we're really looking not for modded animals. What are we going to have in here? That is the million dollar question there, my friend. I am not a good animal person. What about Okapi? Yeah, I'm not really good with the uh, the whole animal roster thing, and like where, what animals should go where, so yeah. <laughs> a Stan and Harry are going to have a, an edible adventure there. Binturong? Hey, we could do the Binturong. That's not a bad idea at all, because they're normally um, they're normally in really small habitats there. I love that idea, actually. Uh, Steamcat, thank you for coming out alert there. Or if you just got here, double cheers. Because, yeah, let's do the Binturong. Like, duh. We just got it. How many Binturongs like to hang out with each other? Not that many, right? No, two to five. So we'll do like two. Popcorn bear! Where's Bearcat? Bearcat's a fun community member that loves the, the popcorn bear there. <laughs> we'll do two sisters. There we go. We'll do sisters. 
Oh, copy! The copy's way too big for that. Gotcha, yep. Maybe the bongo, yep. I like seeing the other ideas that y'all had. Maybe the Red Rift Lemur and Ringtail Lemur together. They benefit off each other. That's a good idea, Blake, but um, we already have two uh, Lemur exhibits in the zoo already, but that was a good idea, though. So, need a popcorn cart near the Benturong. Oh my gosh. Mamber Pig, Mamber Pig's super cereal, everyone. Take it serious. Um, all right, so we actually have to complete this habitat now that we're not going implied. Ooh, we might be able to sneak a little backstage right here-ish. Hmm, I don't know. All right, and now we need a dirt. Hey, Sir K, welcome in, buddy. Maybe right here we'll make it. We'll actually get rid of this terrain in between. And we'll make that where the keeper heads on in. So hey, big weekend coming up, right? I don't know why it's a big weekend. It just for some reason, I think because it was like finally nice out this weekend. It feels like it's just like a really big weekend for a lot of people. Anyone have big plans? We're gonna cook out, I think, if it stops raining. <laughs> it's been raining straight for again like whenever the last time we took Murphy out on a walk that was the last time that we were able to kind of not have a crap day but we're gonna try and cook out if we can because we live cooking out we have our little grill that is pretty awful but it does the job it gets it gets hot enough to cook food that's all we can really ask from it but other than that I don't know we're just gonna we're gonna kind of hang out Cooking out, that just feels like a big deal. You know, it's like the first cookout of the year. Get some burgers, some dogs. Not like, like, like a wolf dog or anything, but yeah. Hey, Panda Hero. Yep, they, they, a few people have gone through that today. I think Todd and a few others said that they, uh, they were pretty awful there. Playing some GURPS for your birthday? What the heck does that even mean? Explain. You're playing golf, baby, if it doesn't rain? Rainy for you, too? Yeah, it's been pretty rainy for us. Um, SD has been playing a funk load of golf. I feel like every uh, every weekend he's messaging myself and Savannah. Just be like, what's up, losers? I'm not on the links today because you guys suck. <laughs> never says get in losers we're going shopping he's a big old jerk generic universal role-playing system like D, D but better oh man sounds fun i like role-play stuff like D, D. so if it's like D, D but better then oh you're going to the zoo tomorrow with your girls that's gonna be a great time i hope which zoo, if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> I could be closed this weekend because of the uh, the prince that passed away. Oh yeah, the prince and uh, DMX. Did y'all see that DMX also passed away? I saw that right when I was, I was posting my go live notification on Twitter and in the trending tab over there, it was so that DMX passed away from, oops, he's wrong, wrong thing, from his uh, heart attack that he had from his OD, like a few days ago. So X gonna give it to you, huh? Gonna give it to you what? Passing away on the same day as uh, the, the prince there. You were at the girl to the zoo tomorrow too? Yeah! Yeah, everyone go to Brookfield all the time, yeah. Yeah, Prince Philip. Yeah, that's, that was his name, Prince Philip. He passed away and DMX did. Hi, George. Welcome in, buddy. I am building a mixed species habitat. Um, actually, this kind of turned into a multi-species kind of area. Uh, we're building a, a mixed species habitat over here, and currently we're building a quick binturong habitat to kind of coincide with it there. So the mixed species habitat will have Malayan tapir, a proboscis monkey, and babrusa. Out here. 
Again, I want to get with those trails idea. I, I was kind of skewing away from the getting little trails and stuff. I still want to kind of portray that. I know it's just a big open plot of land right now, but we'll, we'll fix it. I fix it! I fix it! Yeah, see, we wouldn't, like, if, if the... I know it's, you know, different cultures and all that kind of fun stuff, but if the, let's say the president's wife passed away, like, we wouldn't close, like, the country for that. Not saying it's weird or anything, it's just, you know, just uh, interesting differences between uh, the two. So, like, it's just interesting for me as an American to hear, you know, some of you worried about the country being closed tomorrow, essentially out of, you know, paying respects to uh, uh, the prince passing away. Because, yeah, again, like, if... She, like the president's wife or you know son or someone close to him had passed away or anything like we wouldn't close the country down or like a lot of places wouldn't close or anything but uh, yeah again it's totally different the babushuka <laughs> i know dude i need to go to the brookfield zoo really soon like real soon i just need to go to a zoo soon so i can just get some real zoo inspiration there Oh my goodness, the game absolutely hates me right now for attempting to place paths down. It's just like, dude, could you just lay off me for a hot second, please? Because this is terrible. You went to Brookfield Zoo last week? Hey, if you don't mind me asking, I haven't looked into it yet. Are they still doing the season pass, like, pricing thing? Because, um, yeah, the last time that I looked, they were only letting, like, season pass holders in or something like that? Or you had to pay, like, a season pass amount to uh, get into the zoo? Because if that's not going on anymore, then I will totally plan a trip out. Because, uh, yeah, again, I have my, I have my second vaccine appointment in about 10 days or so, just under that. And two weeks after that, I'll be golden, pony boy, to go do things. Hey, I got the path to do what I wanted it to, kind of. because your dad is British. Ah, yeah, so he probably has, uh... He's probably affected by it there. Is that a big old knob right in the middle of the... Nope. That was one of those terrain nods that you get sometimes. You might have this season passing, but your mom bought the tickets. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. I was just wondering. I'll look into it still. Um, because, yeah, I would love to get going over to the zoo there. I want to see the Lion Brothers. That was the big thing, is, uh... The, uh, the zoo brought in, I think it was two or three, I can't remember, I think it was three new uh, lion brothers to the zoo. Oh my god, I can't believe that. You know, credit where credit's due. The terrain, the path and water, like, closeness has gotten really, really good. I remember in, not Planet Coaster, uh, but yeah, kind of Planet Coaster, uh, beginning of Planet Zoo, like, you could never do this. Like, we, we would never be able to get the water and everything that close, so they've really, uh, done a pretty good job, in my opinion, with that. Dude, dude, that knob. <laughs> I know, Earl. I'm trying, buddy. I hope you feel it. I hope you're feeling it. Oh, the leak? I'm still, you know, kind of iffy on it to uh, Stan. 
There's a new, there's been like a new leak every single day on 4chan and uh, about Planet Zoo and new packs and all that. And yeah, the newest one that came out today was probably the most credible out of all of them, only because it wasn't ridiculous. Um, but again, it's like the fourth leak in four days that, you know, fourth quote unquote leak in four days or whatever. <laughs> so after a little bit, it starts to become the boy who cried wolf. And part of me was wondering if like, Maybe that was on purpose from like, here's the big conspiracy theory, right? Ready? Maybe it was on purpose from Frontier. They were like, all right, let's put out, <laughs> let's put out five or four ridiculous, or no, no, sorry. Let's put out five overall leaks and one of them will be true. And then I think today might be the one that's true. Out of all, it's the most feasible. With the royals, why do people... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I mean, again, I guess different societies. I don't personally understand it, but... You do you, boo-boo. Right? <laughs> According to the links, Planko 2 will be announced quarter 2 of 2022. It was quarter 1 or quarter 2, I can't remember exactly. Of uh, 2022. So this will be a little... Um, be a little all right where were the leaks i know people are just gonna ask this right let me just well, i'll read it here i'll pull up the image here uh s dan and i believe lion rider will probably have a video out on it lion rider might be uh tired of covering the leaks himself so <laughs> yeah let me open the link save the link i know again s dan will go through a really nice video tonight looking through it and doing a really big discussion um but here is just a little preface for it let me switch over the the menu here on OBS. All right, so here are the Frontier leaks that I think are, oh man, the music is loud. Sorry, y'all, I didn't know the music was that loud. <laughs> no one said anything. A few of you had said that the music was bumping, but I didn't think you meant it was really loud. All right, I turned it down there. Uh, so here's the Frontier leak that we think is pretty credible. And kablamo. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit blurry. I'll read it off here. Hey, oh, figure to give another uh, rundown on Frontier news for the next 12 ish months as they tend to go quiet for long periods of time. My source is a Frontier pioneer. Okay, so here's the first eh for me. Uh, if we're going to be calling the bullshit meter, there's the first uh, bullshit meter for me. I'm also in the pioneer program. S. Dan Wolf is also in the pioneer program. Uh, we don't know anything. I mean, we would have to be under NDA or whatever, but I'm under no NDA to say anything or say something. So that right there is the first kind of red flag. Now, however, there has been a rumor and almost a confirmed rumor from certain sources that there are different tiers, different grades of uh, pioneer levels. So people have different accessibility based on subscriber count and influence within the community of like Planet Zoo and stuff like that. So it's not totally unfeasible to think this. So my source is a frontier pioneer, so it had to be a higher up pioneer, which is only a handful of them. Uh, basically a content creator that prioritizes on making content related to frontier games. As part of being a pioneer, they get access to a basic roadmap of things to come. For 2021, Frontier's biggest priority is finishing up their DLC for Planet Zoo so their developers can move on to newer projects. Uh, E3, Elite Dangerous. So, Domez, the thing is that this is the fourth leak in, like, four days. And the other three leaks before this were, like, we're getting a whatever... Pa they were kind of ridiculous. So, this is the first one that has kind of resembled that leak that Domez is referring to. So, I wanted to, yeah, address that before we get into it. Because uh, there was a leak of, from two years ago that was very, very accurate. That, that did predict uh, Planet Zoo. It predicted uh, the last Planet Coaster DLCs. It predicted uh, Elite Dangerous getting space legs and everything way before any of it was predicted. So, there are there is a reliable source out there. We're just at a period of the oversaturation of leaks leaks is we're having to sift through what may or may not be uh, bullshit. <laughs> so, but here is one that, yeah, again, so here's what's coming that we think is not bullshit. So E3 Elite Dangerous Odyssey expansions will be releasing around the time of the convention along with a sizable trailer, which is just long enough to still meet the late spring delay. A sequel to J uh, Jurassic World Evolution will also be getting an official reveal along with a mock-up trailer like the first game, set to release of quarter two of 2022 to tie in with the film's release. Uh, quarter three of 2021. So that's this year. 
North America pack for Planet Zoo, not an animal pack. Main push is Indian decor with wood log walls. Now that's Indian like Native American, like uh, Indians kind of thing. With wood log walls. The timed scenario focuses on building within the constraints of an Indian reservation. Uh, key seller animal is the moose. Quarter four of 2021, Africa Animal Pack. This is touted to be the most we've listened to the fans moment and the final DLC pack for the game. I don't know all of the details, but the big ticket animal is the Black Rhino. Expect minor updates after this comes out. Quarter one of 2022, Planet Coaster sequel announcement. Not done at E3 since the series isn't nearly as well known. We'll draw on, we'll draw on some additions from Planet Zoo along with the long awaited new path system. And quarter two of J, uh, quarter two JWE2 sequel releases. Trailers up to this point will be teasing film creatures. The game is far, far off for more details at this time. So that is the leak that again, uh, for those of us that have been kind of watching a lot of the leaks over the past few years, seems the most credible. Uh, seems the most credible there, overall. So let me switch off my thing. Bam! So there you go. That's that's the that's the recent thing there. I still don't even hear. Yeah, that's that was my thing too. Uh, masses. Um, I'm also part of the Pioneer program, so is Estan, but we have found out, and I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, you can just hit a winky face if you do know this. There are certain members of the Pioneer program that have way more access than you and me. Um, it has been confirmed uh, by sources <laughs> uh, that, yeah, there's at least one or two Pioneer program members that are very influential within the Planet Zoo community that have the entire roadmap of Planet Zoo all done. Like, they know every single DLC that's coming out um, from here on out, basically. So, yeah, if the if this leak is true, it only came from like four or five people, possibly. <laughs> so that's that's where it could be legit. Um, but if it is, then there's like four or five people that are like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> so there we go. That is all of the uh, the fun little leaky leak information that we have there. Hey, Emma. Do, 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 Oh, me and my mouse pad's breaking. I just looked over in my, uh, I have to get a new mouse pad. It's starting to crack. Well, I guess it's like three years old, so yeah. Winky? Oh, oh. No winky face, but winky face. Giggity. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and finish this out over here. I wonder who those people are. See, that's then everyone's gonna start to speculate. But, um, <laughs> so yeah, the packs there for Planet Zoo North America pack with a focus on Native American uh, lore, I guess, and uh, builds and log and log builds and uh, the moose and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Then it'll be an Africa pack with a focus on the black rhino and then a few minor updates after that. What was interesting, I, th I thought, though, is that they didn't mention a, uh, excuse me, an animal rig maker or a theme maker toolkit or anything and uh you know we got that for planet toaster there planet coaster so i can just kind of assume that that would be coming with um you know planet zoo as well or like i said if anything maybe a uh a animal rig mess around or basically what the modders are doing now but more in a more official stance Let's get back in the chat here <laughs> uh -huh. What, PK? Yeah, yeah, Prehistoric Kingdom. Yep, yep. It's one of the top for Planet Zoo. They asked her to be main streamer for their pack release. Uh, Siri Pixel. She saw that sounds familiar. I think I remember seeing Siri around a little bit. Was, was she with us with the, the eight creators that made a habitat? I still have yet to go back and watch uh, all of the everyone else's stuff i had to peace out in the middle of that live stream um but yeah that sounds familiar i remember her it shows that i just don't watch that much planet zoo content when i'm not when i'm uh watching normal youtube stuff or whatever <laughs> i just kind of i don't watch that much youtube stuff i have a select few people that i'll like i watch what they put out but other than that like i don't i don't frequent the youtube uh video or youtube area that much Silly modders violating TOS. When? What'd you do? Dang it, Leaf. Quit breaking everything for us.
Do you really think they won't do birds? Um, if they don't do birds, it's because they couldn't figure it out and they didn't want to put any more time or money into it. Would be my bet. Like investing the manpower. The human power, excuse me. <laughs> no, not that bush. But it feels like they would do, like, they have to do birds. I mean, they don't have to at this point. They kind of have their core audience, essentially. Well, actually, you know, I say that, but um, I just looked over the Steam numbers, and would y'all believe that Heckin, with the combination of the half-off and the new pack coming out, that this is the most that Planet Zoo has been played since South America? The last time I checked, which was like three days ago, there was 13 and a half thousand people playing Planet Zoo at one time uh, over last weekend. And before then, Aquatic Pack only brought in like 11,000, no 12,000. Australia brought in 11, and I think it was South America brought in like 14,000. And then yeah, right now there was like 13 and a half thousand people playing or something like that. So that blew me away. I could not believe that Aquatic Pack was beat out by, well, again, there's a half off sale going on right now. There's, well, here, here it is, it's under there. Um, a new pack just came out. So there's a lot of factors for that, but yeah, I, I couldn't believe that. Uh, that kind of threw me for a loop there. She's like 580,000 subs, holy cow. She's bigger than, okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I was thinking of someone totally different. Uh, yeah, Siri, I've watched a lot of their stuff. Really cool channel, yep. Yep, more than the last two DLC releases. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. We are building um, a kind of a few things today. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I'm kind of more in a chatty mood than a building mood, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. I just kind of realized it as I was going here. Um, but you were building a uh, Binturong habitat and then a mixed species habitat over here with the Babarusa, the Malayan tapir, and the proboscis monkey. But uh, I'm definitely kind of stuttering right now and <laughs> doing everything but. We got talking on some interesting stuff there. This probably I probably should have just done a video. Actually, this is why I like talking live about this kind of stuff because I can kind of riff off y'all and we can have a live discussion about these kind of fun leaks and all that kind of fun stuff. Like a video, I'd get my point across and then people would make really good points in like the comments and then I'd be like, oh man, I'm gonna respond to everybody now. That's why doing it live is, we'll do it live. That's why doing it live is uh, a lot of fun. That's why Take Two Podcasts Live is really fun. Shoot, Estan, there you go. You wanna no, S no, uh, never mind. Estan, make a video. <laughs> make a video. Estan needs to get content out. Look at me like being a manager for Estan. Like, no, never mind, Estan, get content out. <laughs> you you do that. <laughs> big bird pack with a big fan favorite pack, like 20 animals. Holy cow. Or more half off sales. Yeah, just make the game half off all the time. And uh they'll come a running. Yep. <laughs> they could be next or never oof that's that's the that's the ultimatum there yeah Pretty sure this is the final year. Yeah, no, this is definitely... I'm, I'm almost certain this is the final year for Planet Zoo updates. Frontier's in a two-year cycle for their games, it seems like, except for Elite Dangerous. Um, I think I have a rope. No, I'll just build it here. Uh, but yeah, for Planet Coaster, it was two years, because you can't really count that first year, because it was all free updates to finish the game. Um, and then, yeah, there was like two years of DLC support after that. And I think Planet Zoo will be about the same. I'm vibing with this music hard. <laughs> I wasn't for a hot second, but now, uh, now I'm definitely vibing with it. It's, it's groovy. I feel, like I feel like I'm in Top Gun right now. Do, 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 do. How do you get the plants to look so good and natural? I can never make them look that nice. Uh, Z. I think a lot of people's thing is uh, not Zing their plants, which is basically rotate your plants around. Um, so you can take the same plant 
and make it look like a bunch of different plants, essentially. So a big, big example of this is the marula tree. I love this tree. This is the greatest tree because, yeah, it's a good just tree, right? But also, since it has these little, if you look here, it has like little berries in it, like little orange berries and stuff. So we can take it and sink it down a few different times and it's almost like ground cover. So that's the same thing with all planet games. Don't look at an object in the game as what it says that it is. So if, it, if the game says, hey, you know, that's a tree. I'm like, yeah, that's nice, but that's a bush. That's a, that's a bush that's a tree. So same thing with all the other pieces too. Be like, hey, you know, that's a, that's a sign. I'm like, no. Or yeah, that's a sign, but that's also, if I flip it upside down and make it flat, that's also a wall, you know? So, I don't know, maybe that's it. Mirrored the All Rides pack that came out, then we got a bunch of World's Fair, and finally another All Rides pack. Yeah! Yeah, right when I heard that it was going to be an animal pack, I was, I'm, that's when I switched my gears to, uh, this is probably the last year of development for Planet Zoo. And that they're going down the same path that they did with uh, Planet Coaster. And again, yeah, Planet Coaster had the, uh, whoops, let me do that. Planet Coaster had two ride packs, um, a World's Fair pack, which was like a leftover scenery type pack. And then the Ghostbusters pack. And then and that was it. So yeah, it rounded out to about two, two and a half years of uh, development. So I could definitely see that same thing going there. That's a window. Nope, it's a wall. That's right. Yep. Look at it. Everything in this game is a Lego piece, right? It's a Lego piece, essentially. Just because the game says that it's a, you know, Western wall. Oh, wrong game. Uh, a, <laughs> a rock wall. Uh, think of it differently. Just kind of, you got to think of things a little bit uh, just different, I guess. Think different. Isn't that some, like, company slogan? Nike, think different. Texas Tech. Think different. This is all stuff we uh, couldn't be ours to finish properly. So here, well, it was so obvious that it was like leftover stuff uh, because we went from not big planet logo. Oh, I was way off. Not big planet logo stuff on the uh, items because uh, someone mentioned earlier that Frontier listens to their uh, their customers, you know, their community a lot, and that's that's that is very true. Uh, if the customer, if there's enough pushback or feedback on a certain thing, they will change stuff. And that was something in the Planet Games uh, when they first started releasing scenery items, like this, like this uh, column right here. This column would have like the Planet Coaster logo right there, or the Planet Zoo logo right there, and this rope would have the Planet Zoo logo sprinkled across all of it. Yeah, you know, and that was like everything in Planet Coaster was like that. And we told them like, hey, you know, you have these gorgeous scenery pieces. Could you not? put your logo all over it so we could actually use it and they did they stopped doing it it was great and then world's fair pack came out which was like the second to last i think pack to come out overall so they hadn't done this for like a year and a half then all of a sudden we get a bunch of oversized um items that have the planet coaster logo all over them that's like um mm, i feel like y'all may have just scraped the bottom of the barrel of scenery items that were left over and just kind of dished them out which like that's cool but all right. Whoa, I love your zoos. That's heavy. Just because playing a zoo says your polar bear needs 6,000 square meters. Uh, yeah. It, it might be a little far fetched. And again, you know, they, uh, they definitely listen, like, when. But it has to be, like, a community wide thing. Right, it has to be a definite community-wide outcry for them to uh, change something or, or, you know, listen to a bunch of people. Because, you know, there's, you go into certain Discord, certain different communities, Reddit, just all that kind of stuff. And there's always people that want X, Y, and Z, you know, added to the game, taken out of the game, changed in the game. But um, when it comes down to it, you know, they have to appeal to so many people. So sometimes you just... Like the Rolling Stones said, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> but if you try sometimes, you get what you need. That's, that's the planet. I think that's Planet Zoo's logo right there to its community. You can't always get what you want, but, but if you try sometimes, and the try sometimes is getting the entire community to be on your back, be, be with you. 
You get what you need. See, then just you get everything that you need. <laughs> oh, see, I started singing, and so Fana's like, I'm out. Bye, everyone. <laughs> hey, Jake, what's up, buddy? Why why are they hillbillies? Let's let's deep dive that, right? Let's deep dive that question. I have no idea. <laughs> they did kind of just become hillbillies, though. The British rock band <laughs> became hillbillies. I think because a lot of people that I know that are hillbillies love the Rolling Stones. So I just kind of associate them with all the hillbillies that I know now. Process of association. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate that, buddy. This is going to turn into a little, uh, like, mallard or just, like, duck lake, essentially. There's a little hangout spot over here. Uh, gamers are spoiled because we get patches and DLCs today. Um, that's a boomer thing to say. <laughs> I don't know else to respond, except that's a very boomer thing to say. <laughs> but thank you for your opinion on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Dan is your favorite band, the Rolling Stones. Ooh, called out. Can you hear a boomer? Hey, there you go. <laughs> at least you make admit it. <laughs> It's like, dang it, society for advancing, and now we have things that aren't the same that they were 20 years ago. How dare things change and norms change? Like, yeah, that's that's the thing. Norms change. <laughs> we, we move forward. We don't stay the same. So, yes, expectations do change throughout time. It is that is a very that is very true. More of a Nickelback guy banned. Banned right now. <laughs> oh, is it going to work? You no, know we'll do. We'll put a rock instead. <laughs> you could form us. Look at this photograph. <laughs> that guy's um, <laughs> nickel pack is your shit. You do you, boo boo. <laughs> You do you. That's my response to that. <laughs> All right, we got our lake done. Congrats, everybody. We made the lake. I think it's too big, too. I think you got to make it small. We need small lake. Mm, yeah, a little bit. All right, now let me get uh, mallards. So we have those awesome ducks from Mealy. Hi, bold. Oh, I guess no, just just no. Bold gets a no from uh, it's gonna be a no from Leaf. <laughs> so these are the geese. Ooh, geese. No, nah, I don't want the geese. release an incomplete game because you can just patch it later yeah that is that is a bad thing about dlcs and uh patching things later i do agree with that that's probably why we got bigger updates back in the day because you actually had to release a full game but i mean yeah we've been doing the patching dlc system 
for a long time now. I mean, a long time. That's like a 20, 25 year thing that we've been doing like that. <clears throat> Where is... No, oh, those are the crazy ducks. I need... Egyptian one, the Canadian goose. Wasn't there like just a regular old like this one? Silver teal. Yellow. Okay, there. We'll just yellow build duck. Hello, duck. Lovro, how you doing? Take his little feet off, because they're kind of floating. There we go. And that one. Okay. Take these two ducks, put them in our pond there. It's nice to. I thought so, the little little ducks there going in our pond. Yeah. Adds a little bit of something, something to it. crash thank you i get scared a little bit when it hangs like that because there's there's sometimes where i'm just like uh oh this is gonna be the one isn't it this is gonna be the one <laughs> that finally uh finally crashes on me babarusa yeah i haven't done any animals yet it's it's, it's gonna be a typical planet zoo build where i'm gonna do everything else but the enclosure because that's just kind of how it goes. You, you know, you always come in with a certain idea, and then it, it turns into, well, I finished the bathroom <laughs> in my giant plaza. You're like, yeah, I'm going to put a bathroom there and a restaurant there. We put the little enclosure here, and we'll do this here. And then, like, three hours later, you're like, cool, I got the bathroom done. I just love to, yeah, I do all the time, Sawdust. I just kind of naturally do a uh, force close on it. I don't even hit quit game anymore unless it's on a map that's very, very small. <laughs> so yeah, I always do it. Yeah, my performance got a lot worse. Not a lot worse, but it definitely got worse since the last update, which is a bummer. I hope that we can get a few more optimization patches out or something. Because it does seem like the game's just run a little bit chunky. A little bit chunky chunky. Page list of metals. <laughs> nice. I like to think that I have a pretty eclectic music taste. And I definitely think my family growing up. Well, actually, I lived with a lot of different family members growing up. Uh, thankfully and unthankfully, I guess. I don't know. The, the reasoning why sucked, but the the outcome was good. So, like, I had a huge influence of music between, like, great-grandparents when I was really young that influenced me with, like, really, like, uh, like like or I don't even, like big band. That's the word. Like big band and orchestra and stuff like that. Then I had like my regular grandparents, who uh, my regular grandparents, my uh, grandparents who did like fifties and like sixties rock and roll and stuff. My grandma who was into like she, she was a devout uh, Catholic, so she listened to hymns all the time and 
then there was my mom and dad who were into 80s hair metal and my dad was into classic rock and then I lived with my aunt and uncle for a little bit and my uncle was into polka um so I like I can appreciate almost all music but that doesn't mean I like all music and, and that's kind of the cool thing is like I got a little piece of it like all all throughout my childhood kind of grew up with just little bits of you know country polka rap you know you name it just yeah I'm uh, probably not sawdust <laughs> probably not uh, I'll let in like 20 <laughs> I have not let guests into this zoo in a hot minute my friend <laughs> and it, it's yeah because they suck up so much like that's the one of the biggest reasons that if your zoos are stuttering um take your animals in and, and guess out <laughs> the animals do as well they take up a lot of uh your cpu usage but yeah no not for a, a long time there changing the grid size kind of helps but it's a tricky thing it can be tricky that's that's why i kind of like just saying you know what heck it grid i say no that's what's really nice about prehistoric kingdoms builder you can just say on and off the grid like whenever you want to that's such a cool little feature but something about country I just can't. I can't do a lot of, uh, especially modern country. I'm not really big into. I, I um, who was it? What was her name? Leanne Rhymes. She did the blue song in the '90s. My mom used to listen to a lot of like country in the uh, late '80s, early '90s. So like a lot of that country I listened to. But yeah, I can't do a lot of modern country. Folk music's great. I love folk music. Listen to Lords of Acid. They pioneered EDM music. Nice. There you go. Cash Jennings, and I was like, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Hey, welcome back, Primal. Enjoy some of it. Yeah, represent. Yeah, yeah. George Strait's good. Yep. Sorry, you can't come in. There's there aren't any animals, anyways. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but it makes OCD happy sometimes. If you're doing a gridded zoo, yeah, you know, if you if you plan it out beforehand, obviously, as you can tell from my uh, path work from a top down view. Uh, not much grid work going on here, except for some of the buildings. You can see some of the square buildings took advantage of that, but um, yeah, grids, I'm not a big fan of the grids there. I mean, I like to listen to when I uh, do listen to music, but I don't say I don't listen to music that much. Nice. I get what you say. I love music. Like, it's kind of a... Music's always been like a, a centering point for me. Like, I, if, if, you know, the day's just kind of wacky or whatever, it's just kind of nice to fall back on, like, a favorite album or some... Just whatever, you know, music is... I love music. <laughs> used to, you know, be in bands. I, I was in orchestra growing up in uh, high school or middle school and high school. You played viola. Uh, did a bunch of competitions with it. You know, went to state and national competitions. Was actually really good at it. Played in college, too. So, you know, music's always been pretty big part of my life um so yeah i love music lo-fi stuff and electro electro swing is really fun actually there's a uh oh no it's just a lo-fi i have a lo-fi station lo-fi is really good to build too lo-fi is extremely easy to build too yeah i've been in a lot of uh lo-fi remixes lately there's um there's lo-fi remixes of 2010s rap or uh, popular songs and i was like okay i'll i'll give in youtube i'll you know let's see what this is all about and i listened to it, i was like holy cow this is really good so i started searching out more lo-fi remixed uh popular artists and stuff like uh like jay-z and dre and uh there's some country ones there too and stuff but uh it's actually really good i, I was really surprised that you kind of like lo-fi anything and it, Kind of sounds really good. <laughs> Where's the uh was oh bramble? That's right. Bramble bush. There it is. Ah, I'm in favorite so do I am. Just another form of oppression. <laughs> Probably Earl. Probably. <laughs>
You're a folk fan? Yeah, I like me some uh, folk music. I'm not too deep into folk. I probably know just like surface level folk music kind of stuff, but I like me some folk music every once in a while. There we go. Hey, Domez, uh, that got my attention. Ever learned to play Ocarina at a convo though? What? No, I learned how to play it on the Nintendo 64 controller because there was a Pokemon game where you had to learn how to play it. There was uh, there was Zelda. <laughs> there was this game, you know, we had to play Ocarina on it. I think it was called Ocarina of Time. Hey, thanks so much, Domez. I appreciate you and your 420 as always. Domez always coming in here and donating 420 like an absolute Chad. I'm going to move away from that little area. I'm doing a lot of foliage work. Let's actually move on to a, a, a habitat. This this uh, stream has been clickbait. <laughs> this, this entire live stream has been a clickbait stream there. You're a big fan of Ben Fold Bitch Inc. <laughs> nice. That's good. Yeah, I like uh, uh, cover songs. They're really good. First, I've been listening to uh, Juice Wild, Jake, uh, J. Cole, Polo G. Nice, yeah. I like, I love metal. Metal is um, the bands I used to be in when I wasn't playing in orchestra. I was in a, a hardcore metal band in uh, in high school. Played the la guitarra. <laughs> I'll still bust out some metal. All right, let's get our benta wrong. Let's get the benta right in here. Which means we have to unpause the game. Watch the frames. Go from 30. Oh, down to 14. That's a good one there. Just by pushing. Go. Do the new checkbox system, because why not? No path destinations. Oh, it disconnected the path. <laughs> More work back soon. <laughs> Lame. All right, see you, buddy. <laughs> I think that's not gonna work. That's okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Baby metal. My uh, my wife actually just started getting into baby metal. I had not heard of them before, and she's like, "You ever heard of this band?" <laughs> and then she showed me. Them. I was like, "No," but I'm so glad you did. Oh my gosh. And then I also found from them, um, I found Spirit Box, who the lead singer of Spirit Box was the former lead singer of I Wrestled a Bear once, and she is amazing. So there's a bunch of new bands there for everyone to go look at. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love Spirit Box a lot because she still has the good screams and uh, everything from I Wrestled a Bear once. But she has really good, vo uh, really good vocal bits on it, like as in like actual singing and stuff like that. So it's really, really good. I don't know where the nearest trade center is, so they're gonna like take a quite a while to go there. You're a singer. You had two successful hardcore bands. Nice. Now, are you a singer or are you like a a screamer and singer? Can we hear? I don't scream. I I did the chug chugs in the background. I did a chug chug squeal, chug chug squeal, chug chug. Da -da 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 -da. That was me. The drummer went raw, and we had a singer. Oh yes, yeah, Autosnow Spirit Box. Heck yeah! It's always fun when you find f other metalheads. It's like you're in a, in a in a in a in a group together or something. You're just like, oh, another one out in the wild. I've been spotted. <laughs> Ooh, the path thing is being weird. I don't want to fix it because it's going to break everything else, too. All right, let's just wait for our Binturongs to get here. They got to be almost here, right? Had it on triple speed for a while. Are they still in the Trade Center? No, they're, they are on their way. They're on their way. What's up, Sean? Why not have the Babarusas and Warties get along with each other? Like five Babarusas and seven Warthogs. 
That's a good idea. But we already have our thing established there. We're definitely, we're gonna stick with the sea animals because we have an idea of making this uh, combined habitat be an Australasia habitat. Because we have all, we have our Australia section right up here. So we're gonna have these, uh, where are they? <laughs> we're gonna have an Australasia uh, habitat, but good idea though. Okay, I, I think they're... You sent me a song on Discord? I can't play it now though, it's gonna be copyright. Let's see what you send, Bold, while we're waiting for them to go. Is that the actual, like, get low? <laughs> I can't play it right now. <laughs> I need the Binturong to get in there so I can do the uh, the climbing requirements and all that. Animal escaped. How did it escape? And why are there three of them? <laughs> it didn't even. They didn't even bring them anywhere. Oh, they just dropped them off right here. What the heck? Okay. Take two. It's a cover? Okay, I'll listen to it after stream. I can't do it now, Bold. YouTube will come get me. Pisces? Yeah, I think everyone uh, learned some new metal when uh, Pisces came out from Ginger. Yep. Uh, hey, John, you're watching this at school, but we can't use chat on our uh, school iPads, so and now I can talk with this awesome human. There you go, buddy. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, I need to follow. Who, who's who's picking up my Benturong here? I need to follow you all the way. Okay, hey, you. I need to follow you because apparently last time you just kind of threw my Benturong in a trade center without doing There he goes. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, animals and they show escape before they even go to exhibit. I, okay, I feel like I've had this happen before too uh, when I had the, the pack early there. So yeah, I think that's a bug -a rooney Bummer. Bummer. You download Discord where you don't have an email to use? Well, emails, I think I have like a million emails between Yahoo and like Gmail and stuff. I have so many just like, um, false or whatever emails. <laughs> okay, cool, so our height is good here. The one meter is good, they can't get out, right? Tell me about yourself there, buddy. Tell me you can't get out. Oh man, they totally can get out. Um, so let's switch this around to something, a material that they can't get out. So that would probably be concrete, concretia. We'll do this. Oh, they can climb on this too, can't they? I can do the climb proof. The climb proof looks weird. <clears throat> Does this have climb proof on it? The wood? I suppose it would, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, I kind of like how it looks. I didn't realize it looks so kind of like industrial grody looking. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. See, Tyler has you covered. All right, so now that's facing the right way, correct? You just don't have to worry about the uh, climbing right there. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Uh, I'm sure the terrain's not enough, but that's not... Oh my gosh, it is. Look at that. 200 square meters. I love it. I, I thought for sure, but we made it by two meters. Nailed it. All right, let's build this up real quick. This shouldn't take long at all. Hey, Todd, thanks for hanging out, buddy. We'll talk to you later. Let's see if we can fit in just a little bit of a watering hole here for him. Oh, pause the game too, so we can gain back at least 15 frames there. It's a small little watering hole for him. Right at the edge. Uh, do I stream every day? No, I don't stream every day. I don't stream every day. Uh, we'll stream tomorrow for our community showcase. And that will be at uh, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern. And then Sundays, I am taken off again. Sometimes I stream on Sundays, but that's only if like a new game has come out or something like that. But yeah, plan on uh, Sunday being off. A little bit dirty water. Got some dirty water, dirty dirty.
Most days, yeah, so usually it's Monday through Saturday. So Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, Saturday is 11 a.m. for our community showcase. Looks, looks pretty gross. It looks just, just enough that they peed in it, right? Just a little bit of pee pee water. They would just be chilling in trees, climbing frames practically all day, so it makes sense. Yeah, right? They just, you know, <clears throat> just have a little... Doesn't need a big uh, space for them to be in or anything. Yep, yep. I, th I, don't, I think it makes sense, too. So we'll definitely get a nice climbing frame for them. If SDM streamed ever. I What the heck happened to SDM, right? Was streaming and then started a new project and <laughs> that's what it is he started a new project he's he's you know head first into that project there which is awesome he is super super inspired actually i don't know if i want to use the fake rocks here i think we actually use the real rocks the real rocks i know that he is going to be busy boy tonight though he has three videos at least that he wants to get out recorded and uh sent out over the weekend so we'll be hearing from as daddy has boy there. The way that they, I love the way that they look when they hang upside down. The animation for it is really cool looking. Like, I didn't even know that they did it until uh, after the pack had come out and someone had posted a picture. I was like, oh shoot, that was like my animal that I had and I didn't even know that. It did that. Hey, gaming hyena, welcome in. Oh, it's good, John. Yeah, well, that's what uh, hopefully, you know, a lot of. Yub tubbers there. Hopefully we can inspire some builds. We get inspired all the time by the community and stuff too, so it works both ways. Definitely works both ways. Always looking on Twitter or my Discord or other people's Discords or you know Reddit, all that kind of fun stuff. Only look on Reddit, no post. <laughs> I always forget about this plant. The water hy hyacinth, whatever, hyacinth, like water cover. I always picture like a, a hippo coming up out of this. I think it was Ace Ventura, like the first or second one, where he's hanging out with the hippos. The hip hip hop, the hip hop anonymous, and uh, he comes up out of it <laughs> underwater. Bint yeah, we're gonna do a Binturong exhibit here real quick. It should, really shouldn't take that long. And then we're gonna move uh, quickly over to our mixed species habitat there. We have just had to get this first little area done before doing the actual species habitat there. I took over his social media, that's why his posts, uh, but he does his stream, there you go, yep. A grand total of once, I know it, it's such a great plan. It's such a great plan. The first time you ever catch me live, Pedro, welcome in, buddy. Appreciate you uh, dropping the kind words there. Glad you were able to catch me live. And welcome in, buddy. And anyone else that maybe is a, you know, a lurker or anything else that normally can't catch the stream or, again, if you like to lurk and just hang out in the background of the stream and stuff, hey, that's awesome. I appreciate the heck out of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. This, this uh, underwater plant here, the underwater eelgrass, has definitely taken over me using the terrain paint. Uh, long grass, for better or worse. Probably for worse, because I'm just, my computer, every single time I put one down, it's just like, stop! Stop! <laughs> Enjoy your lurking there. Can't make your... 
Blake, I'm not sure what the issue is with uh, that you have with the email, but anyone can make make an, uh, an email in their own password. You just have to go through Gmail or Yahoo or uh, any of those, you know, sites there. And you can make your own pa or you can make your own email there. Your own email, your own password, all that fun stuff. Uh, let's see. Do I have a climbing structure saved? It'd be t -t 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 tight to not have to build a climbing structure. I'm terrible at climbing structures. No, I don't have one. Maybe I downloaded one. Aha! Implied sloth climbing structure. <gasps> this is perfect. I just have to edit it a little bit. That's really good. I'm going to tell you who that came from, too, because that's a really good climbing um, exhibit. And y'all should definitely um, download it. That's from Squantoon. Actually, Squantoon stops by the stream every once in a while. So shout out to Squantoon there. Uh, it's called Implied Sloth Climbing Structure. Um, and you can find this on the uh, workshop there from Squantoon. So awesome, awesome job there. Here's 50 of us watching, like 20 likes. Hey, appreciate that, Bold. Yeah, likes always do help out. Appreciate everyone watching. And the longer that people watch, that definitely helps out the, the little algorithm there as well. But hitting the little like button is just that extra step that tells YouTube, hey, you know what? I kind of like what this dude's doing here. <laughs> All right, let's see if they can climb on that. They can totally climb on it. That's, that's amazing. I've also taken away 50 meters-ish of their... Uh, it's only 17 meters. <laughs> hey, Savannah, so good to see you. Yeah, more the climbing structures. Yay, there's Squantoon right there. <laughs> um, that's awesome. So, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so get that from Squantoon there. The cl uh, implied climbing structure, because, yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. And you know what? Like I said, we're going to edit it just a little bit. But it's a great base to go off of there. It's a banana, yeah. <laughs> a wild banana has entered in the chat. What if we make it just another story up? Did I just conjure a Squantoon? Wasn't that great? That was brilliant, right? Like I said, I know that Squantoon uh, oftentimes will be lurking in, in the background there, so that's, that was pretty good timing there. <laughs> that was pretty good timing there. Let's just go up that high. Do 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 do. Hey, in effect. Yeah, some people just have a real good knack for building climbing structures in this game. That's for sure. You just use Quantoons? There you go. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yep. support for it. Looks like a nice wind would blow it down. I think I always uh, go to the workshop before uh, before you make them. Yeah, I... Uh, they don't really click with me either. And there's... I think Wyatt Andrews has a few really good ones on the on the shop there, on the workshop. Squantoon. But yeah, overall, I, I also just kind of 
skip out on making them all together. Because making them look like they would support it, like it support itself, is really the big thing. And then, yeah, sure, making sure the animals can climb it too, but yeah, actually making it look feasible. the no they can't never mind they can't use that new hammock but they can use what's some of the new habitat things that they can use i don't think they have any new habitat things actually no it's just it was the sun baron what the leopard they do have a forage box maybe fit in here it's gonna malform the land all over the place but Obstructed, obstructed, no we can't. Never mind. Sweet, all right, that works. Oh man, Mass Man's get back again for the third time and still being a demandy fack. <laughs> What'd you see you're doing today? I think I you said you're in and out of meetings all day. Or you're virtual you're doing virtual learning. Ooh, I think that's what it was missing, like a structure there. Hey Genevieve, welcome back in. Good to see ya. Appreciate you uh, joining us the last few days and also commenting on the uh, videos and all that fun stuff. Just can't quit you, baby. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, uh, Cybris. I hope so. Let's, uh, let's actually check that. Let's check where we're at with our traversability. I take play, don't I? There we go. So they can. Oh, they can't climb. I thought they could climb this. You know, that's okay. What, what are we up to? I, almost there. We don't have to exactly match it. We don't really care about welfare for this uh, zoo. But what we can do... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, you have virtual learning, so I can't keep them for more than uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Ah, I gotcha. Huh. 15 to 20 minutes, really. Pla yeah, then you know what? That's where we're going to go for. We're going to put a, a platform right here that they can climb up on. Yep. That's big. Get right up here, so then they can climb around this whole little log structure there, hopefully. What animals should you do for your zoo next? Hey, let me let, tell you what. In my Discord, let me grab a link for you. That someone shared last week of this amazing site for people just like you and others who can never quite decide on that next animal. Oh man, Lucas shared a bunch of cool climbing frames for this week's community showcase. Oh man, good timing. Where was this website? There it is. Here. Go to that website. You'll have a gay old time. Okay, so now how's their climbing area? Nice, yep. They can get up there and climb all around it. Perfect. 
I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna leave it on pause for now. Because I, because uh, of exactly what Mass Bandit just said, that I would really, really, really like them to not be on the ground at the moment. So right when they get up into the climbing area, we will pause the game to gain back frames. But yeah, no, it's same with the koalas. I did the same thing where I did not unpause the game basically until they climbed up into a tree or something. Uh, but let's add in our trees. So we're going to add trees that have the oh you know what right across i don't even need to go find them we made a bunch of them right over here with the anti-climb frame on it there it is yep actually these go down that one didn't get one. Oh, you know why because that's where they rub their back on but yeah let's take a few of these i'll we'll place them in there Totally get a bookmark that website for later. So it is a great idea, isn't it? Yeah, because we, we get at least two or three people come in here. And, you know, it's not the big the biggest deal to uh, to ask. But, you know, always ask, hey, what animal should I do next? You know, try, just trying to get a random out there opinion real quick. And there's the website for you. <laughs> that one will just randomly, you know, you can put in there like, I want to do a Southeast Asia animal, you know, or I want to do an aquatic pack animal. Boom, random, go. Building a Pacific Northwest Zoo, and I can't decide whether to start with flamingos or tortoises. Well, you know me, flamingos. Flamingos all day. It's not a real zoo if it doesn't start with flamingos. It's my opinion, which means it's fact. <laughs> I know, the anti-climb frame that they can climb on. Yeah, yeah, that is that is the thing, isn't it? <laughs> that, that is kind of the thing. So, I need one more big tree, like big... Big, big tree. Yeah, I guess we'll just repeat it. Hey, have a good one there, Emma. Always appreciate seeing you, and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow for the community showcase. There we go. The Brookfield Zoo says hi. I know I take all my inspiration from them because that's like the only big zoo I've ever been to ever. <laughs> I've been to the Milwaukee Zoo, but that was like for school and it was real bad. <laughs> I know that they've just went through like a real big inspiration. Or inspiration. We went through a real big uh, renovation and stuff. Uh, Milwaukee Zoo that is, but yeah, I've, I've really only been to the Brookfield Zoo. <laughs> Which I guess is fortunate, because it is... Er, kind of is on the upper echelon of zoos. Isn't it isn't. Have they not... Have they really not gone up into the... Could you just get up in there? Go! <laughs> I want to see you climb. What's the other species going to be? So this is not the mixed species habitat. I kind of got a little bit sidetracked for the last like three hours or two hours. Um, so now we're going to start the actual mixed species habitat. <laughs> we just kind of had to get there first. Obstructed. By what? Ah, okay. That's some very, very... Very shallow water. Let's uh, redo that there a little bit. Come to Ohio, we have three major zoos. Yeah, I know Ohio has a bunch of great stuff for that. It was at one point the upper echelon of zoos. It was, yeah. No, back in the uh, until recently, really, when the zoo just kind of just stopped expanding. Um, yeah, it was, but now it's kind of a little bit meh. Well, yeah, they were supposed to have a real big expansion that started with the, the grizzly grotto the grizzly bear grotto that was the like phase one and then um funding just kind of got yanked got yoinked and it just uh for the last 10 plus years has just sat 
stagnant, essentially. That's better. Um, but, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what it was. I'm make, making a big secret about it, aren't I? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be Proboscis Monkey, Malayan Tapir, and Babarusas. So we're gonna knock out those three animals in one. <laughs> nice, Cyrus, yeah. Were they gonna redo and make a world-class... Yeah, they're gonna bring elephants back to Brookfield. For, like, the first time in... Long, long time there. <clears throat> but yeah, yep, yep, funding, funding. That's better, that's perfect, right there. Just need to get the land down enough now. How far can we get the land down? Ooh. It's rough. Now I have to do this guessing game of can I make the land this low and still have my water go back in? Question mark? Let's try it real quick. Yes, okay. Toledo Zoo, I'd love to go to the... Yeah, there's a lot of zoos I'd love to go to. <laughs> you missed most of the build today? That's all right, Troy. We're just kind of making the main aspect of it now. Hey. Hey. I'm missing, I'm missing a pixel. I'm, I'm missing a few pixels. Um... There's like a pane of glass right here. Um... Hello? God, can I have my water back? That's interesting. Well, anyways, let's take out the water and just finish terrain mapping what we're doing first, and then we'll, uh, we'll go back and see what happens with that. <laughs> oh, I wish, Harry. Omaha Zoo is your favorite? Nice. And yeah, my favorite, I guess, yeah, I guess I'd have to say Brookfield Zoo, just because that's really the only major zoo I've been to. I've been to the Madison Zoo, which I think is called the Henry something zoo. Dorley? No, that's not the Dorley Zoo. But yeah, the Madison Zoo I've been to once, but that had like four exhibits in it. Oh, you know what? I take it back. No, it's not a zoo. Never mind. Joe Rody made a point to make sure that it wasn't a zoo. I was going to say Animal Kingdom, but the nickname for Animal Kingdom is literally spelled out not a zoo, like M A H A T A Z O O or something like that. Henry Dorley's the Omaha. There, okay, there's a, the Madison Zoo. I can't remember the name of it. It's a name zoo. Henry Villas. That's it. Henry Villas Zoo in Madison. I've just heard a lot of people talk about the Henry Dorley Zoo. That's why I mixed it up. How about how great it is? Actually, we're going to have the habitat kind of stop right here. Because we're... Well, our path could come... I haven't even thought about the viewing. <laughs> I guess I should think about that. Get rid of this hillside here. Really cool spot for a retaining wall, possibly. Having a sheer cliff face like that or whatever. Let's get the old uh, path going alongside this. Welcome back, Blake. The Smithsonian. Yeah, the Smithsonian looks like a great zoo as well. Mm-hmm. Dang, this is almost big enough where we can put another habitat in here. For the Houston Zoo? So that was with the South America section, the... Panta, shoot, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, that South America section that just opened up, that was part of the new phases of the Houston Zoo. That was really impressive. That vlog you did from it, that was really, uh, that was really impressive 
habitat they did. Actually, I took a lot of inspiration for my South America area in Thornton Hills Zoo from uh, that area in the Houston Zoo. Maybe try Nashville since it's close. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way. I really want to get a lot more zoos. I just I feel like I, uh, I just want to do a lot, man. There's just so much I want to do. <laughs> but again, second vaccine scheduled for two weeks from now. It should be at least, yeah, pretty sure it should be pretty good to go then. Oh, wow, nailed it with the terrain height there. <coughs> Excuse me. This would be a pretty big habitat. I guess it would, again, it kind of needs to be, right? But, uh, well, you know what? We could put backstage right there instead. Because this will need, like, a backstage building. The the Binturong, I'm okay with not having a backstage enclosure or, like, whatever for it. I'd almost picture that they would maybe bring it to a, uh, like, the big backstage enclosure over here or somewhere else, so. But the big area here, the big uh, habitat is going to need its own backstage structure. Uh, the Pantanal, yeah. They remodeled like 50% of their zoo uh, for the big 100th birthday bash, I think. Right now they're completely revamping the entrance area, Galapagos Islands. That sounds really cool. Nice. Indianapolis is a good zoo. Yeah, Singapore Zoo does look amazing. The theming and everything that they have going on there with that the gardens yeah it looks really good be brought in by like cat carriers yeah that's what i was thinking of, that you know they would uh bring them in and out with carriers i don't know that they'd ever be left overnight but yeah like at the end of the day they just bring them in and out for on and they probably wouldn't even every single day go um go out right they maybe sundays just stay in the back if the weather's not good or they're just not really feeling it that's what I think is cool about a lot of like zoo shows and like modern zoo uh, holdings and stuff is that a lot of the stuff you see from is the keepers letting the animals decide like, OK, do you want to go out today? Like, all right, the door is open. If you want to go out like that's cool. If not, like whatever you do, you boo boo. Right. That's like the keepers have the ultimate you do you boo boo mentality. <clears throat> Excuse me. When it comes to uh, animals now, like you want to train like, yeah, we'll do some training and stuff. No. All right. That's cool. If you feel like being lazy, you can just be lazy. We only go uh, once a, go uh, once a week in the summer. Oh, what's that to the zoo? Yeah, if we were a little bit closer, we're like just far enough away from Brookfield that, well, you know, no, what is it? If you go more than once, if you're more than twice, I mean, it's usually worth it for a season pass. So we probably would go enough, but yeah. All right, let's get them a little bit closer. There we go. I think that's working out pretty good there. Absolutely amazing. Tulips. Tulips through the... Tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> Where's your dignity? It's the same place you left your mind, buddy. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? All right, we'll make a little... Ridge line here. Separate out our benta rights from our everything else. It was right before the big February freeze down here. All the animals voted a nope out of being on exhibit. Yeah, but they still gave them the opportunity, right? Yeah, but there's like, uh, your goddamn mind. Did you take a look outside? You know what was really cool is, uh, was it Brookfield Zoo? I think it was, yeah, because I follow them on Twitter. Um, Brookfield Zoo just showed a video of the two new. Uh, lion brothers or it's two or three I can't remember how many it's two or three uh, lion brothers and it was after a really like the last big big snow that we had up here in Illinois and they gave them the opportunity to go out and they chose to go outside after this huge snow and seeing them just like pounce around in the snow and like just it was really really fun to like see because you don't you just don't picture like you know an African lion getting stoked on uh, snow <laughs> but they just like ran out there and were like yeah you know this is awesome 
I forgot to put the water back here. Do we still have that? See, we still have that dead space right there. Dang it. <laughs> uh, how do I find my Gmail account inbox? Uh, yes. Hey, Livy, how you doing there? I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I think you just log into your normal Google or Gmail there, and then it just says it. Someone help Blake out there. Someone someone help Blake uh, walk him through his uh, his tech, tech problems, if you could, if, if you're willing to there. Oh, hush, Leaf. <laughs> oh, hush. You need some you-do-you-boo-boo -boo merch? You know, a lot of people have kind of requested that, so maybe we'll do that. <laughs> maybe we'll actually do that, because we do have a Teespring and everything, so... Cool things about these monkeys is they love to swim. <gasps> they do? Well... I kind of want to get an underwater viewing area, like, times two. Well, I guess this is kind of an underwater viewing area, but it's almost like more for the... Well, that's... That's deep enough. Kinda. That's fine. I'm not gonna add another one. It's fine. We're done. You hate that these monkeys can swim because it feels so wrong. What? <laughs> I feel like it's going to be interesting to see them swim. They have webbed toes. What the heck? I haven't really taken a good proper look at these uh, these monkeys. I just know that their, their nose looks like a penis. The males, at least. They got a dog nose. They have webbed feet and hands, so they're just fully equipped, ready to go for swimming. That's crazy. Thank you, Linda, for helping Blake out. I, I feel like I probably could, but I just can't. I can't concentrate on both. <laughs> <laughs> They're damn near mermaids, that's what I heard. Your Carl come back and said that he heard, he saw some monkeys with some webbed feet and webbed hands. Sounds like goddamn monkey to, or mermaid to me. See, everything turns back to S Dan. It always turns back to an S Dan uh, <laughs> accent. <laughs> uh, they'll yeet themselves out of trees running from predators into water to get away. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's amazing, actually, and I kind of want to go find footage of that to go, like, see it. There we go. Hey, nice, Blake. Why must they swim? <laughs> That's what the community is for, right? Exactly. Exactly. You know what, real quick? If I could just... Quickly find a... I'll bring y'all along, too, if I find a good one. I just want to find a video real quick of these... Monkeys yeeting themselves out of trees. Probiscus monkey. Swim. Oh man, there he is. Oh, it is he has a baby with him too. Oh my gosh, everyone, look at this real quick. Field trip. Ready? Look at him. Look at him yeet. Yee! Oh, with the baby on him too, dude. Reach the young, juicy leaves on the other side. Oh, we have like a. We're not gonna watch the whole thing, but this is just so interesting. Oh, it's BBC. Shoot, copyright. <laughs> I just realized it was all BBC. All right, I got the picture though. I totally got the idea. That was nuts. This thing's just like yeeted, man. <laughs> the BBC is gonna come after me. You're not referring to the nose? Uh-oh. Does it have a dang -a -lang? Is it swanging with its dang? I still don't like that. 
<laughs> Cybers is just having all sorts of issues right now. It's like, mm -mm, don't like that. No, nope, don't like that at all. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. All right, this is the temporary entrance here. And let's send our monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys. All eight of them. Actually, we can send everything. We can technically just send in everything. So we have four, six, uh, eight, nine, eleven. Nine, nine. Oh, yeah, nice. Gotta get them out. Oh, and quickly, while they're getting sent over. I need to make the rest of the walls, which I already had an idea what I made, want to make the walls out of. We have to go over to Africa. Uh, there it is. I love these walls. These, like, green arctic decorative fabric walls. They work out so well for, uh, like, backstage walls. <laughs> Damn it, Harry. What's my favorite habitat in, in this zoo? Oh my goodness, there's so many to choose from. Um, dang, I'll say the aquarium from Wyatt Andrews, either the aquarium or the, uh, there it is, the panda habitat here by Wyatt Andrews. So none of them that I've built, everything that someone else has built, but uh, yeah, those are two that I always like to go back to. crooked <laughs> I just noticed when it goes off it was so it started off crooked yeah it goes off just a little bit that's all right me and my animal army you bet I'm gonna take over the world one day Whoa. okay so that should meet up with the building uh, yeah, there's going to be a building right here. And then there's going to be a natural right there, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, where else would we need to do this? Possibly through here. Oops. So can you lift the land here? Probably not, so we'll have to cover it with rocks. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. We're still going to cover it up with rocks and foliage. It's a little bit gooby over here, but yeah. I have more popular sharks and whales in a whole fish update. Fish? Yeah, sharks and whales... Right, what Seabird said there. I, I don't I don't think that they'll ever do sharks or whales or anything. They're too controversial in too many parts of the world. Well, sure, you know, because I can already... I hear the click clacking of people's keyboards already. Well, we have those animals in my zoo. Yeah, okay, I get it. Like, that's... But in a lot of areas in the world, <laughs> those animals are uh, very controversial to hold and stuff like that. So, yeah, and Frontier does not like controversy. They seem to stray away from controversy, I think, anytime they can. 
amazing backstage areas what you see here i know your question was for mass but um i will chime in as well as um because i think i do some decent backstage areas but uh reference photos reference photos are a good one to go off of so google images if you can get a backstage area for from google images to look at and it doesn't have to be just from a zoo you can look at like a shopping center backstage or you know back end area or whatever so the more blade you can make it the better function over form for sure yep and that, that's a good point too is uh the old uh planet coaster a lot of us in planet coaster days built real just janky fun type backstages and stuff so but yeah inspirational photos of uh from google images and stuff What's my inspiration for this habitat? Nothing. My brain. Just kind of a lot of full. It's gonna be a lot of foliage work, to be honest with you. So just kind of have a foliage palette in my in my head that we're going off of, and uh, yeah. But other than that, no real big uh, inspiration. Just kind of just kind of wi chicken winging it. Just kind of winging it. Okay, so here's our trench, our tranche. We need to fix this. There we go. And we'll multiply this everywhere. Tranche system automatically dates it. So most modern habitats don't do the trench system. And they only, only look good from the outside, really, save for the wolf habitat and animal garden. Yeah, zoos don't have a lot of reference photos, and Google Images is um, is a crapshoot. Yep. The best you can do is on um, Disney Plus and other, some other, I think Hulu, too, have uh, some really cool behind-the-scenes zoo shows. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a crapshoot to find backstage photos and video and all that fun stuff. Hey, Erin, how we doing? Yeah, nice. Yeah, Harry is a reference photo, basically. <laughs> Harry's our local zookeeper there. Uh, the uh, blah, blah, excuse me the Bronx Zoo has some backstage uh, videos and stuff nice yeah they were one of those zoos that was in the documentaries they had the behind the scenes tours of uh, the Bronx Zoo there yeah really really cool yeah the narrative bit yeah I didn't really watch much of that one uh, neither did my wife and she's really into all that kind of stuff uh, she didn't like it at all. I thought it was a real big wasted opportunity with the Animal Kingdom one. Because, yeah, all the other ones on there, the Bronx Zoo, the Tampa Zoo, like, they have a whole bunch of them on there from this other program that does it. Uh, and it was really good. Like, really good. But, yeah, then they brought in, like, the dude that played the snowman from Elf. What's his name? <laughs> that actor. To, like, yeah, do this narrative-driven thing. Zulex, yeah, that's the name of that website. Yeah, Zulex is really good. Although I found their search function is a little weird. Like, I'll type in Binturong or, like, whatever exhibit, and it just will be like, what? And then later on, I'll find, like, Binturong exhibits. I'm like, well, why didn't you bring this up earlier? <laughs> 
It's kind of one of those sites that looks like it was uh, really, really big during like the forum days. And, you know, it still has enough members to, like, warrant being around still, but, like, it's still on the, some, like, 2008, 2009, like, forum posting, like, layout. What is the model modern zoo enclosure? So it's removing the guests from Animal View for the most part. I believe that's what um, it is. You have to talk to Eben about that. Eben is, like, so into zoo design. He's so good at it. Even in uh, Wyatt, both are really, really good at it. But yeah, I, I believe the next stage of zoo design or habitat design is removing the human element of the habitat, essentially. I love Animal Kingdom as a as a theme park. Yep, it's great. But I'll never forget what the creator of the park said when he nicknamed it Natazu. It's like, this is Animal Kingdom, or it's known in its native language, Natazu. And it basically was just tongue-in-cheek for making sure everyone knew that this was well, exactly that. It is not going to be a zoo. <laughs> it's a theme park first that happens to have animal things going on in the background or whatever. There's some, yeah, it's it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> Some zoos I'm starting. Uh, I started using real life requirements now regarding to space and shelter. It's amazing how much smaller um, habitats get then. Yeah, if you stop doing the Planet Zoo requirements. Yeah, Planet Zoo requirements for some of them are decent, but other ones, you know, we all know the the polar bear debacle, but uh, some of them are a little bit like, uh, what? <laughs> hey, Squiddy, how you doing there? The modern approach is story driven as well. Like what did he, um, like what he did for the lions in season zoo. A big thing that was stressed was minimizing how much you see other guests. Yes, yes, exactly. And yeah, the story part, that's what I can remember. Yeah, the story part of it now. So that's where if you go into, you know, a habitat area, it's not just, you know, here are lions. Listen to them roar, you know, or here's some general Wikipedia facts about lions or whatever. It's now more so like, oh, and the lion, you know, tames, or this is what the lion does for the environment, and here's what, you know, this animal does for the lion within the environment, and... Or what are some of the other ones? Like, you start off, uh, some envi uh, some of them are, you start as like a, a leaf or something, you're like, you're a, dr or a drop of rain. You're a drop of rain. <laughs> and how you're making your way through the this system and all that kind of stuff. So it's essentially Disney-fying the uh the experience storytelling but yeah the big part i remember was the guests making sure the guests kind of stop seeing each other and seeing the animal yeah uh rubles with yeah wyatt yeah if wyatt is on someone's zoo you you go watch it he also has his own youtube so y'all check out his youtube channel overall um, but yeah, if you see that Wyatt Andrews is attached to um, a project for a guest build, just just go watch it. <laughs> just do yourself a favor and go watch it. Again, you know, I get I still get people comment on this whole section over here. This was all Wyatt Andrews over here that did uh, Expedition Asia. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. So, again, that's just a quick plug for Wyatt, because uh, whenever you see Wyatt... And he did this in, like, two weeks, by the way. I always like to note that. He did this in, like, two and a half, three weeks, I think. This entire bit right there. It's like, what, the fuck? what, what am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? But that's just the thing. There's there are certain people, whether it's Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, or whatever, um, that just, they just, they have it. They get it. It's... You know, they have the design in mind, they know how to execute it, they have the tools down, just all of it, you know, it's, they have it. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> Pantalon exhibit is the story of how the river's boundary levels change the dynamics of the Pantalon. There you go, yeah, yeah. Just how do you do that? I, yeah, I don't know. 
I really don't. Oh, speaking of over there, I realized I had the thing on pause the whole time, so our animals that were supposed to be delivered have not been getting delivered. Uh, speaking of over here, I wanted to take possibly, there it is, a backstage building. What does this look like? Yeah, it's not what I thought it was. Oh, imagine that. There's an animal boxed up. <laughs> oh, the frames are lovely. He did them all separate. We'll just build our own. We'll do it live! Okay, just to double check that our animals are actually on their way. Relocating. This looks like they are. Good stuff. Now I'll use my favorite backstage building material, corrugated iron wall. You know, I think that the uh, the Australia set or the Australia pack might low key be one of my favorite building packs in the game because I'm always going back and using stuff from this from this pack there. Oh, oh quick, quick, quick! Uh, do I know if Leaf is playing Planet Zoo? Nope. I don't. Hey Leaf, are you playing Planet Zoo? There, we'll find out. <laughs> that's how we, that's how we find out. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it, they all came at the same time. <laughs> uh, every single animal came all at the same time there. That's awesome. It's the, it's the March of the Monkeys. Or the march of the animals. Bum ba dum ba dum ba da 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 bum ba dum ba dum ba da da dum. Boom 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 boom. That's what the tape here does. There's our little bees. There they go. Shouldn't there be one more tape here? I'm missing one tape here. Here. It's in, it's being delivered. Want to share a screenshot of your zoo on Discord, but forgot, so that's to wait until tomorrow. That's all right. Discord should still be there tomorrow. Catastrophic world events pending. I wonder if the cat fur has anything to do with it. No, probably not. Cats are innocent. They never do anything bad. So, no, probably, probably, you know, it was a ghost. It was a ghost. It's just a spooky ghost. Bring this there. Now they should be nice and wuxed in. We'll double check that, of course. Look at them swimming! Like a bunch of chads! Oh, we have chad monkeys. I might make it a little bit deeper because they're kind of standing on the. <laughs> oh, they're so creepy looking! Oh, I kind of get it, Seabris. I kind of get it. Like, I don't want to. Oh. I don't like it. Not a fan. <laughs> okay, they can get up here and get out. They can, oh heck, they can climb the, oh, it's just because the exhibit ended right there. It's awful, it kind of is awful. I don't like seeing them do it. Hey, Christy, welcome in. Good to see ya.
<laughs> little creepy monkey swims. We'll put a fence here, but I kind of plan on putting some foliage and rocks right here to hopefully block it a little bit naturally. It's just kind of a secondary measure there. They're my favorite animals in the game. They're just creepy, that's all. They're just a little creepy. Not every animal can be a, uh, a winner in the looks department, you know. <laughs> and everyone prefers just different animals. Oh, is it sus? It's always sus, right? There you go, you have someone on Team Probiscus. I'm sure there's a lot of people in chat and everything that are uh, on Team Probiscus. I just kind of uh, understand where Seabrus is coming from now. That they are uh, a little bit creepy looking when they're swimming. Okay. Let's check again. Is this updated? No. Okay, there we go. Hey -oh! Looks like pretty much fixed the entire thing. Smashing. I love the little tapier noises, though. Little tapier whistles are kind of my favorite thing. No, actually, leave that there and we'll put something there. Their noses are funny, yeah. <laughs> even Linda's like, mm, I can't even do the proboscis monkey, and I love me some proboscis, or I love me some primates overall. <laughs> what if light bulb? redo the exhibit a little bit too. Hiya, Sylvan. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, the swimming monkeys thing, yeah. So you're afraid of dogs that are above football size. See, I'm the exact opposite. I don't count dogs that are below football size as real dogs. And those dogs scare the crap out of me more than their their bigger, you know, cousins or whatever you want to say. Just something about a small little yippy dogs that just makes me blue. Which ones do I avoid? Any exhibit animal. I think the exhibit animals are um, a bit of a wasted potential in game. So uh, yeah, I really oftentimes could give a rat's be uh, behind about the exhibit animals there. The turtles were cool, I guess. But yeah, overall I just can't really be bothered to have any attachment or 
connection with the exhibit animals. Worry that small dogs have something to prove. They have a superior. It's a complex. It's definitely a complex. Chihuahuas scare the hell out of me. Yeah, there you go. But I think they're kind of underrated. Well, see, yeah, they, they they are underrated, but it's because of how they were handled, and you kind of hit it on the head. If they would have done more, like, small exhibit, mini exhibit, medium exhibit, large exhibit, extra large exhibit, rectangle exhibit, fucking triangle exhibit, you know, just, or give us an exhibit designer ourselves where, like, we can lay out an area, essentially the habitat designer just, or let us do the exhibit animals as habitat animals whenever we want to. Kind of have the option for both. Um, turning the exhibit null, that's also like a doink thing. Like a yes, please, why, why, why wouldn't we? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that would make it more interesting to me. but you still like to use them um yeah I, I don't even use them anymore i build my own like whenever we whenever it comes down to building a like i need a terrarium or aquarium or vivaria what you know insert arium here <laughs> i don't even think to use the exhibit animals anymore yeah i'll just totally build a build my own like even like over here when we were building out this backstage uh, I knew I needed some exhibit animals. I just quickly went and built some little terrariums here with the new screens and stuff. Didn't even think to use the exhibit animal or anything, really. This would be kind of a cool looking habitat when it's finished up there. Uh, so I really like the, the lookout you have right now. I think it looks pretty neat. I used to have chihuahuas and it was the meanest thing in the earth. Ooh, no. Um, that's why I surely have two medium dogs. Yeah, we have one medium dog and that's perfect. Never had an issue with the medium dog. You have to go back, uh, harass people. Is he streaming right now? He always streams when I stream, doesn't he? Man, that's why I can never watch him. This is a little bit too tall. We're gonna keep the color, but uh, just go another two meters up. But yeah, I always catch his uh, Twitter posts afterwards and he's like, live now. I'm like, dang it, man. That's why I never get to see any uh, Valhalla or anything else we get worked on. <laughs> oh, I know, Squiddy. Isn't it great? Yeah, the custom billboards are awesome for that kind of stuff. Yeah, and custom music. We can kind of do custom music right now, I believe, with uh, the custom billboards where you can... I think it'll play the sound from the WebM video that you have installed. So you can somewhat do custom audio, and someone was recommending that I get some, you know, do that. And I was like, well, I'm going to just hold off until we get actual custom audio, because it's going to be a bummer to uh, have to go through and replace all that later on. But it is cool that we can kind of get some custom audio now if we really, really want to. That's better. For sure, Blake. He was with his face cam and everything. Oh, man. Speaking of that, I thought about that the other day, how I haven't had face cam for, like, ever. Remember I turned it off for, like, RimWorld, and I just kind of forgot to keep turning it back. I just kind of stopped turning it on overall. Uh, maybe I should just... Maybe we should have face cam again. <laughs> I just have to turn it on. What did I do over here to make it look kind of neato? Nothing, really. Just added on some general bits. The corrugated roof. Yeah, all right. But yeah, I was just thinking, I was like, I turned off face cam for... Um, Back in RimWorld and just kind of never went back to turning it on. Oh, speaking of Savannah, I know Savannah is going to be doing La Face Calm as well. She just got her stuff ordered in. 
So yeah, Savannah is going to be on the face cam hype there. Probably this weekend. Maybe not. I can't remember if she got it or not. Time to switch up the music a little bit here. Bang, 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 bang. He's so loud. So loud. There we go. Juice of Rimworld, so it's back. Yeah, automatic. That's what that means, exactly. Oh, speak of the speak of the blade and he will poison. Or speak of the poison and he will blade. Something like that. <laughs> Wait, no, not that way. Shoot, I keep going the wrong way with this. Cats or dogs? Both. Both. <laughs> Where's Mr. Fur? He is out of here. <laughs> he is out of here today. Now, hopefully we can get another walk going on with him uh, tomorrow or the next day. Should be nice enough out to actually get going back outside again. Everyone comes from doggos. Hey, you know what? I was really surprised how many people did kind of show up for it. <laughs> so you're not half wrong. You put dog in the title and people, what, dog? That's good enough. build it again. I have it right here. I like both of my dad being larger than cats. He grew up more of a dog person. That's fair. Yeah. Goes cats, dogs, reptiles, small mammals, insects, fish, and birds. You don't you don't like birds at all? I'd put insects last, fish second to last, and then birds, and then the rest I pretty much agree with. And every stream you're seeing uh, the same people. Yeah, yep. A lot of, we have a really great community there. Speaking of earring coming in, ha! Becoming a builder there. Thank you so much for taking that extra step and supporting the community there by becoming a member. I will update the beginning stream names there with yours on it. And yeah, thanks so much for lurking and hanging the last few days and chatting and all that. And like I said, taking that step and becoming a builder there. So thank you so much, Earring. Welcome aboard. Terrified of insects? Dude, I don't really like insects. Christy likes all the animals. Nice, nice, nice. Have to have those people around, right? Hey, there we go. Yep, thanks everyone for giving the chat or the claps and the hearts and all that fun stuff for airing, joining our little crew there. 
So, hey, one second. I need to take a phone call. But y'all hang out with the clouded leopard there. I'll be right back. Okay. It was it was an actual phone call that meant something. It wasn't one that was a dumb call. <laughs> Anyways, so there we got one of the one of the government phone calls taken care of there. I have now I'm waiting for one more. Oh look at this! Look at this great pause action there. Look at him. It almost looks like he has like brown or something on his coating there. You see that? See, like the kind of brown grayish on him. Interesting. Anyways, all right, let's keep uh, keep building here. Oh shoot! <laughs> I guess they can get down into the trench. I guess I'll now. Can you get back up? Hey, welcome back, Sofana. Fifa Bobana. Yeah, they 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 got stuck. They escaped down there. Shoot. <laughs> so we gotta figure that part out probably first all right there now they're boxed up ah, itch on my ankle there we go and let's start to um yeah make it so these guys cannot escape there no escape
These are tried and true elephant grass. Elephant grass is the easiest way to keep your animals where you want them with a naturalistic look. I feel like it's some like infomercial, like elephant grass. So. <laughs> Wait, I just realized bold. It's an I, just, I never realized that bold was in a, uh, a different uh, account there, but you're still supporting the channel from the other account. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, bold, you got to transfer over unless you don't want to lose out on having your lion. Go check it. I understand that. Probably going to head out soon there, Jenny B. No worries. I know it's getting a little bit later there for our European friends. Definitely getting a little bit later. Elephant grass, give it a try. <laughs> Pesky animals bothering you? Give elephant grass a try. What is that? Said that was escaped too? Are all the animals escaped? Oh, wait. I don't think my habitat is done. <laughs> I, I think the habitat's incomplete. Maybe. Multiple habitat gates. Oh? Where's the... There's one there. Where's the other habitat gate? Oh, is it because it's connected? It thinks it's connected to... The Binturong habitat? Okay, well... No. <laughs> Yeah, you won't have your lion, right? Almost 10 o'clock there? Yeah. Insider billboard in this zoo now. Give elephant grass a try. Well, then Harry's going to try and smoke it. Harry's going to see the word grass and be like, what? I can... Do you, got, do you have grass? I'm going to smoke it. Team it, Harry. No, get down. Incomplete. Obstructed. Where are you incomplete at? Right there, I see it. Bam. A whole set of Planet Zoo PSAs. Yeah, what would, what would be the Planet Zoo PSAs? Right, what would be the, the PSAs there? Oh, hold on there, little Billy. Before you go and bleed in your water, you better make sure that your landscape tools and your terrain heights are all the same. You wouldn't want to have to go and deal with obstructed water now, would you? <laughs> that's right, Billy. Obstructed water. The thing that's the biggest bane for Planet Zoo uh, people's career or whatever. <laughs> Damn it, monkey! No, monkey! Do you like grass, Billy? Do you like baseball, Billy? Have a good one, Blake. Thanks for hanging out for as long as you did. Never given it a try, you've always stuck to the leaves. Oh yeah, you're missing out, buddy. Everyone knows you're only cool if you smoke the grass. If pee in your pants is cool, then I'm Miles Davis. <laughs> I wanna watch Happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> that randomly made me think of Happy Gilmore there. Once you remove it, you can't put it back. Brought to you by the Water Foundation. Brought to you by Obstructed! 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 That see, Obstructed would be like like an energy drink, right? It'd come in and be like, hey, you, do you want a plate out there? Well, you can't, you wanna know why? Cause it's obstructed. That's right, this Sunday coming to you, we have obstructed, obstructed, obstructed. Paths, can't do it, it's obstructed. Wanna place a barrier there? Can't do it, it's obstructed. How about water? Fuck you, it's obstructed. Obstructed this Sunday. You think that worked? 
<laughs> hey, look at that. It actually worked. <laughs> this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at the Coliseum. Obstructed. <laughs> Don't forget, kids get in half off. <laughs> you gonna make something with that bolt? There you go, yeah. <laughs> uh. You know, I, yeah, I'm not really digging putting a bunch of the fences up here. Even, like, up here, I'm not really digging that. We might make it more natural with, like, fake rocks, or just, like, rocks in general. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go that route. Not really digging that. I dig it along here. Can you dig it? I can dig it along there. But not so much a route when we get closer to guest viewing areas. Monster truck wrestler. That's right. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's put some rocks and stuff down. Pause the game so nobody gets any funny ideas there. Obstructed! Now an all new cherry flavor! Get yours for a limited time! Only a Burger King! So these are the dynamic moss, mossy rock over here. Same thing over here, just kind of hiding up some of the ugliness there. A little bit too jank for our liking. We like jankiness, but not that much. <laughs> Oh yeah! Obstructed! Oh yeah! Yeah, you would. That's exactly right, yeah. Obstructed. <laughs> That's Monday's got me feeling like water volume and terrain uneven in the original just plain obstructed. How come? Not gonna tell you. <laughs> oh, those are always the worst when it just says obstructed. And you're like, wait, there's no water, there's no path. I'm out in the middle. Why? Why are you obstructed? Tell me now! <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy if I don't know why you're obstructed! We just, we, we're, it's okay, Poison Blade. We're just gonna accept it. Just move on a little bit. He's not decapitated. He's just stuffing his head inside the the tree thing. You know, just normal Monday things.
Okay. So now we have at least a little bit of a fence up top here. It's almost just a visual, if anything. It was, we were already keeping the animals out before this, but I like how this looks. Oh God. Oh my God. Yeah, there we go. Mm. <laughs> you made a river. Um, let me tell you, I just wanted to quit. Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to play the fitness. Get that hitbox in check. Right, yeah, been wrong. Yeah, it's it's not. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a mood. It's just a Monday mood, really. I've had a lot more luck with the water lately, Poison Blade. So I, I kind of agree with you. As At least as of late, I really haven't had uh, issues with the water. And I think I just kind of have learned how to use it, essentially. But I, I do know that a lot of people still uh, have their issues with it. There was a little time, though, like where it was pretty atrocious. Like, right before... Or right after Aquatic Pack, one of them. I think it was right before Aquatic Pack. It was damn near impossible to do anything with water and pathing and stuff. Tired of that happens, Primal, no worries. He's the chosen one with the water. Yeah, he's the Water Whisperer. I'm getting very late. I'm going to turn in. Have fun, everyone. See you all tomorrow. You betcha, Livy. Thanks for uh, hanging out, as always. We'll be live at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for our weekly uh, community showcase there. So, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for being a member. We will catch you, hopefully, tomorrow. Where is... Oh. Speaking about Primal saying randomly getting tired, I'm just yawning up a storm over here. What are you? Why are you over here? Dang it, Dewey. Wait. Why? Did I ruin the habitat? Fix. It's incomplete. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, there we go. The water is annoying to recolor if it's in a lined pool because you have to remove the liner every time you want to select it, which is annoying if you have to keep you have to keep removing it to build. What do you? I think I've done that before with the liner in before. Like you're talking like a plaster lining or whatever. Where's the pond I have that has that? Here, this one has it. So are you saying it's happening? If it's in a line pool because you have to remove the liner every time you want to select it. So yeah, are you saying like the... Oh, I don't have it here. Dang it! Where's a pond that has plaster in it? <laughs> These all should, but... There, here's one. Here's one. So select... You can change the color. And just do whatever you want willy-nilly. Ooh, look at that water. Grizz. Right, right there. Hippos. The hippo pool is a little bit gross.
Ah, it's perfect grossness. It won't select the water near if there's plaster in it. That is so weird, Mold, because yeah, I mean, you can see me right now being able to select it and outline it. Huh. Did you try turning it on and off again? Is there a recommended size for habitats slash habitat complexes? Uh, Exposition Asia for the community showcase? No, uh, -uh. They can be as big or small as you want them to be. If it's, you know, too big to be a regular habitat, then you can upload it as a zoo file. Um, yeah, no, go wild, have fun. There's a select water tool that ignores the pieces. I didn't use that tool. How else do you select them? Or how else do you change the water? Can you just like click on a thing of water? Like, just click it and it, oh, oh, yeah. No, you have to use the select water tool. Oh, interesting. So you're saying if I go back over to this one that was lined that I won't be able to, to click on it like here. I can click it still. Mold, your game's fucked up. <laughs> your game just broke. I'm able to click on everything, so. <laughs> well, that's alright. Alright. Oh, and you're saying just click it like this? Oh, you can just click it without the tool being up. Oh, man, now I have to go try again. Okay, last time. Last time, there we go. So you just click it. Ah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so no, yep, that's exactly it, Bold. You have to be using the tool. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, just go up to a random water and just click it willy-nilly. Huh, T-I-L. T-I-L. How is our... Uh... You okay? All right. How's our uh, traverse ability there? You still get out a little bit. Right here, they can get out. That's all right. We're gonna fix that up right now. Nailed it. That's fine, they can't get out over there anyway, so we'll take that out. All right, well, now we know that our animals can't escape, and that's always a real good thing. It's a real good thing for zoos. We'll pause the game, gain back our frames, finish out the trench down here. Finished, finished. And, uh, yeah, well, now we need to think about what we're going to be doing with our different animals here. Let's see. So we have our guests at a pretty much same level as the animals. It would be kind of cool if we got the guest path to be up here. I have, like, two different path viewing areas. One that's, like, ground level and one that's up above. Let's do that. The zoo is pretty here. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... Yeah, Thornton Hill Zoo. About a year and some months long project. Yeah, it's pretty big there. Basically fill up the map. And then the glass was too low, so I'd have to raise it and then put the water and then lower the glass thing. That, yeah, I would not want to just, no, no. Select, so I'd move the plaster, change the color and put the plaster back. Then the penguins would be like, you moved the plaster, now we can't swim for hours on repeat. Yeah, that that's commitment right there to doing that. I'm surprised you didn't say anything to anybody. Like on Bro Nation or my Discord or anything, I would have totally like spoken up and be like, hey, is this is this dumb for anyone else, or am I, or what's going on? <laughs> oh, bull! I'm glad you saw it now at least, right? So you weren't sitting there for weeks on end, be like, okay, so this penguin build took me forever because you all know with the weird way that we have to do water now, and everyone's like, 
What do you mean? It's fine. <laughs> you, just, you just hit your fucking moment, basically. Why don't you all just go die, okay? How about that? Then we'll have a real good time, won't we, penguins? <laughs> yeah, I've been there with a few uh, habitats before where it's just like, fine, you don't want to be happy? How about we just you just die? How about I take away your food? <laughs> Eating was fun, wasn't it, annoying animal? Yeah, I, I think we've all been there. <laughs> Timmy Tech saying, why can't my animals get through the elephant grass? Oh, he has a lot to learn with this game. Oh no, Harry, yeah, tell him that while it might be an annoyance now, he will come to, they will come to love elephant grass. Cherish it even, depend upon it. Look for it, look to it to nurture them. <laughs> Back, uh, welcome back there, Cerus. I commend y'all who watch on the phone. I cannot do that. I can barely watch live streams on the computer. <laughs> but yeah, I can imagine watching a stream on the phone. Well, I guess it wouldn't be too bad if you're just kind of hanging out somewhere and, you know, it's a public place or whatever. But yeah, for the most part, like watching YouTube videos or streams or anything on the phone. Whoo! Again, yeah, I commend y'all. Oh, how am I going to get down? Well, you got yourself up there, now you gotta get yourself down! I don't know how to get down! But mentally, I'm just like, uh Yeah, you might just need to unplug for the day, right? Just maybe sit back and watch a mindless TV program or something like that and just unplug. I was like that last night. I had, I had a lot of intentions of um, doing some builds and playing at zoo but like i said i just i kind of just wasn't really mentally all the way where i wanted to be with it so uh i just kind of turned uh played hurts of iron 4. it's a pretty easy game to turn on and play for me so you can listen and work yeah that makes sense yeah when i worked as a delivery driver i had podcasts i would listen to but never live stream and i guess podcasts are a bit of a live stream this is gooby. What the hell? Yeah, I'd listen to Dan Patrick in the morning. <laughs> Dan Patrick in the morning. There we go. I just needed to. Okay. Silver. You, yeah, you as well. Hope you're excited for the weekend. Which I know Silver is going to be a little bit busy for part of this weekend. I remember. That's why Silver's been a little bit late to the streams there. Doing some some work stuff. So hopefully they can get that wrapped up over the weekend and get back to enjoying streams and Terra Nova and all that fun stuff. Speaking of Terra Nova, there's a new Terra Nova episode out tomorrow. A lot of our fun content creator builders are doing their Mars project 
releasing tomorrow. So that's what episode three with Basic Builder. I believe it's yeah episode three with Basic Builder. I actually I, I haven't caught up with episode two quite yet. It's been sitting in my dang watch later uh, tab all week. I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm definitely gonna do that tonight. Me watching SpongeBob. <laughs> that wouldn't be my first show to choose, that's for sure. <laughs> I didn't really watch SpongeBob that much back in the day. It would SpongeBob came out right at the time when like I started to watch uh like Disney Channel shows, like real what do you call it? live action. There it is. <laughs> live action like Disney Channel shows like Boy Meets World and I think little growing pains in there and uh, sister sister smart guy so yeah i stopped watching cartoons right when all the spongebob and all that kind of came out. i watched it here and there but i just didn't really like it I, I really moved on from cartoons fast like i like one minute i was watching cartoons and then the next i was like nope well i was i was just i was watching um i was watching a little bit of anime with uh, dragon ball and gundam and then i'd watch adult swim at nighttime with like johnny bravo and all those. Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Turn up is premiering on Basic Builders Channel tomorrow at 12 p.m. 11 a.m. Eastern there. They're trying to sabotage my community showcase everyone by deciding to schedule their videos to go live at 11 a.m. Eastern. They're just trying to sabotage me. I get it. I get it. They want war. It'll be war, damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, though. So uh, it's funny, Silver Fox messaged me. He's like, oh, man, I think we scheduled our uploads to be during your community showcase. <laughs> He's like, we didn't do it on purpose. Like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> we, can't, we can't all keep our schedules straight. There's too many content creators to all plan like that. That's a damn steep incline right there. Oh, well. That's a little bit better. <laughs> hey, thanks for the kind words, Callum. Appreciate that. You suck his cheetah underwear. <laughs> oh man, you're always the youngin'. Yeah, I'm I'm you know 31 going on 32, so a lot of those shows there are a little bit outside my wheelhouse. While y'all were watching SpongeBob, I was watching MTV Cribs. I don't know, something like that. Actually, probably. <laughs> she stream, uh, it is the first half of the showcase. <laughs> Well, whenever you guys are at a place that you want me to show it off to the community, you know where to send it. Dinosaur? Oh, sick. What kind of that? Can I, do I get to choose? If I can choose what kind of dinosaur I am, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, because we're over the age of 30? Yeah, we're super old. We're basically as old as the dinosaurs at this point. Hmm. Maybe a concrete wall. Just straight up concrete wall. Just kind of colored a little bit chilly. Oh, man. You know what? I didn't realize that the walls degraded but uh the degraded walls i wish we had that as a uh as a piece to put down in game have y'all y'all know what i'm talking about you seen the degraded walls i'm sure everyone and their mother has seen it i'm like the only one that hasn't actually played the game um but the degraded walls have such a cool like crumbling wall texture to them it's like oh you have that in game obviously give it to me 
Let me build with that. I'd be ecstatic. <laughs> so the music you can find on uh, Spotify, if you type in, let's see if it comes in, stream beats. Yes, if you type in stream beats on YouTube or Spotify, you will find it. it's copyright free music. So you can play it if you're a content creator or anything, you can play that wherever you'd like to. But yeah, this is really good, isn't it? Yeah, they do, a, they do a fantastic job. And again, free to use. Totally free to use for any content creator. All right, so we have that started up there. This path, is, I, I like the idea of having the second path over here. You're gonna have some really cool views. Maybe, it depends what we put over here, but maybe some cool views going out that way. Um, all right, let's work on the habitat a little bit here. And you know what, for this, I'm actually gonna run to the workshop and I'm gonna look up. Dang, this music is like going today. <laughs> what the hell? It's like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> uh, while I do this, y'all keep an eye on our clouded leopards. I'm gonna go look for a climbing structure real quick. Actually, why don't you look at them from the indoors, from the inside? They have a really cool indoor area that they usually hang out in. There you go. Keep an eye on the Cloud of Leopard there. I'm going to look at the workshop. Uh, climbing. Structure. Let's see what looks good here. Uh, it's very wide. The quality is kind of all over. Well, someone was saying Squantoon has a lot of really good ones. I only have that one from Squantoon, so let me actually go take a look at their workshop. don't hire any mechanics ah oh, but then i gotta play the game a little bit and it's like <laughs> all right squantoon's workshop there we go all right let's see here because yeah someone else was saying they had some other cool climbing structures on there so it'd be nice if we could take some of them primate climbing structure one boom gonna take that does that look good there it is right there. We're going to edit it a little bit. Because that is a little bit big for what we want to do, but it is on the right track. Oh, boy. There it goes. Come on, camera. There we Come on, camera. There it goes. <laughs> Uh-oh. There it goes. I'm not even touching the keyboard. I felt it, too. The keyboard was being weird. I can't control it now. Well, that might be the end of the stream. <laughs> if I can't control the keys, let me hit escape a few times. Sometimes I can recover it. All right, there we go. I recovered it. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. The last time this happened, I had to exile the game and start over. And to do that, we'll take it. Oh, it's going again. <laughs> oh, it takes forever to load into Thornton Hill Zoo. I know, the keyboard wants freedom. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay, so I thought my keyboard was, or mouse were starting to... We're starting to go out, but apparently it's a it's a bug. So this has been a bug in the game since beta. <laughs> Press the movement key. Ah, nice level wolf. Okay. So that did it there. Nice. I still feel it. it's gonna. Yep, there it goes. I can I can feel it getting locked up. Oh, there it goes. Wait, it got locked up again. 
<laughs> you know what else? Speaking of things that they haven't fixed. Did you know? Maybe they fixed it. I haven't checked it. Did you know that if you go and change your whatever to freedom units, feet, let's see if they fixed it. I haven't checked it since this update. Go into construction, bring up a grid. All right, so it's normal, right? Normal, grid's normal. But if you take it down to one meter, ah, it still does it. They haven't fixed this since beta either. <laughs> <laughs> and if we push it down, yeah, look at look at the grid size that you get with it. It goes like it goes crazy and doesn't know like what to do. So if you ever want like a teeny teeny itty bitty grid to oh god, now we're moving. Uh yeah, if you if you want a teeny itty bitty grid, go into feet and uh you get this warp bonked uh grid there that has been like that since since beta basically. <laughs> And that is why I stay in meters. There we go. Tiny grid. Yep. It's always been like that with feet. I don't know what it is. They just—they don't want to fix it, though. Nope. They can't handle the freedom unit. That's exactly... Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't play now. No. I want to keep building so bad. But it's going to take like a half hour to get back in here. That's why... That's why I, if I... Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. That's why I know if I'm gonna jump into Thornton Hills Zoo, I make it like a commitment to jump in there. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> All right, well, that was a good stream, but I, I have to wrap up now because the game is telling me I have to wrap up. Oh, it's actually past four anyways, so. <laughs> Epic Freedom Unit exploit, it's pretty good. Yeah, if you want a really, really teeny tiny grid. Yeah, there you go. Getting dizzy, I know, I'm, I apologize. It's not great content for y'all. I can use my right mouse, mouse button to move around. There we go. I'll just use the mouse right right mouse button. Take that game. Then I won't even use my keyboard. I'll play like Savannah and Estan do somehow. I don't know how they play like this without using their WASD. Haha, <laughs> take that game. Tell me I can't play anymore. Let's use the right mouse button. One meter is three feet, so the freedom grid is three times smaller than the standard one. Oh, that's amazing. There you go. If you ever need a teeny, teeny, tiny grid to work off of, or a three times smaller one, there you go. So yeah, shout out to Squantoon overall for making the base structure. I know I'm deleting a good portion of it, but uh, that's what I usually do with uh, stuff is I will take it and be like, that's a cool idea. I'm going to use your general ideas there and run with my own. I'm so determined to not, or to not wrap up the stream today. <laughs> What the heck building is this? Oh, okay. How do you play with how easy? Yeah, they do it like they use the right mouse button to go everywhere. And it's just like, I have no idea how, you know, how you could play that way. How do you play? Well, everything that you need is right there. WASD to move around. And then if I want to like select something and move it, here's X right there. So I quickly have it. I want to control exit, it's right there. Uh, I want to control Z to undo, it's right there. Just everything is underneath your left hand when you do WASD. Using it, anything else, like you're going around, you're like just typing, like you're hitting buttons like one on one or whatever. I don't know, it's just more fluent for me to use WASD. What is WASD? So if you put your fingers on your keyboard, your middle finger on the W, your ring finger on A, your pointer finger on D, that's WASD controls. Those are WASD controls. So it's a lot of first person shooters, um, a lot of editors uh, do it that way. Like graphic design editing uses that. Um, but yeah, it's it's like, it's just the kind of default way to control things. So, and again, like when you have all the, the hotkeys, control X, control Z, control Y, uh, control C, control V, uh, X, you know, all the, V, F, those are all hotkeys that you're using all the time. Just it, everything rests underneath of your left hand, so you're not constantly having to go back and forth with things. I like this little structure right there. Um, so I think, yeah, I think a lot of people that maybe did uh, first-person shooters back in the day or or, or, or are in editing uh, might have an advantage to kind of know how to use that kind of stuff. 
kind of cool that this is all actually hooked up. This, I think I see our structure. We're a strange breed. No, uh, Harry, actually, <laughs> you are the strange breed. Um, yeah, people that don't use WASD are honestly the strange breed. It's, it's very, very commonplace uh, for WASD in workplaces for computers and stuff. So, yeah, no, people who don't use WASD are actually, I'm pretty sure, are in the minority, at least in a professional uh, level. <laughs> oh, there we go. I hit, I hit a directional key. Using the arrow. See, I'm left-handed. I just had to get used to uh, WASD controls. I kind of, I'm kind of ambidextrous with my left hand. I'm dominant left-handed, but because the world is right-handed, I just kind of learned to be ambidextrous. With Minecraft, Sims, and all that. Yep, yep. Almost all games and all uh, editing programs and all that kind of fun stuff rely on uh, WASD. So, yeah, those of you that don't do it, I really recommend getting into it. Because <laughs> it's very, very commonplace. Very commonplace. Yeah, like Valheim, you'd have been screwed for Valheim. They do, Troy, yeah. Basically, they do. Pretty, pretty much there. Arrow keys aren't that odd. They're not that odd, but they're not commonplace. They're definitely not commonplace. Yeah, WASD is... At least with every single uh, industry that I've worked in that uses computers, uh, WASD is the kind of commonplace uh, for it. You know, we're going to take this and take another one and put it right out here. So yeah, definitely, and I just think it, it might feel weird at first, but honestly, it's way easier. It just makes so, please, just, just please stop, stop, just let me, fuck you game. <laughs> just right now, fuck you game. Please stop, 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 thank you. Uh, but yeah, I think if you, you get, you just kind of start using it a little bit, you'll see it's so much easier, especially with all the other hotkeys. I get people ask me like all the time, like, how do you build so fast? It's like, well, hotkeys. You know, just use the hotkeys that are provided to you in game. I don't know. Like right there, I just said Control D instead of hitting the duplicate buttons to everything because everything is resting right underneath of my uh, WASD hand. I like these little islands. Gives like my pet uh, Minecraft and Apex Legends on the regular, but I just started playing a zoo without using them. Don't know why. Yeah, that's fair. That's definitely fair. I think, yeah, I've just used them for so long and like so often throughout my, uh, I guess, quote unquote gaming career or whatever that it's just, it's like second nature at this point, you know? It's just like going to a game and if, if it doesn't have WASD controls, I'm like, uh, what? No? Like a uh, Hearts of Iron 4. I have to really get used to Hearts of Iron 4 because it doesn't use. Uh, WASD controls. Use for camera. Yes. Yep. So whenever you see me kind of, except for right now, because the camera's kind of borked, uh, but when you see me flying around like this, right now I'm holding W and A together to go diagonally, and then I use my mouse to kind of also fly around. So I'm just holding W right now, and then I kind of fly around. And then we can also hit T, and then we'll go down into this mode. And then I'm holding Q. I'm holding Q and W at the same time to kind of come down. Then there's E to come up. And again, I'm using my mouse to kind of guide us. I can hit T again, and that puts us into locked camera position. T again, and now we're in um, another one. Now, nah, see, the camera's all fucked up right now. There we go. Uh, so yeah, W right now. Then I'm holding Shift as well with my pinky finger. To kind of go faster. <laughs> and then we're going to go down the hill, apparently. So, yeah, here's W, E, lift back up. Uh, we're in free look mode, T. Now we're in locked mode. So, yeah. Kind of makes it easy to fly around.
Uh, but now that the game has this bug that apparently if you play the game too long, it just starts to de-evolve. <laughs> so, um, I think I saw someone earlier said that they replaced their keyboard because they thought it was like their keyboard was failing. That sucks. You guys know it's a bug in Planet Zoo. Yeah, it's not your keyboard or anything. It's a bug in Planet Zoo that's been there since like forever. Everyone go on the forums. I'm serious. I'm really serious because that's where they listen. Everyone go on the forums and report this because it's obvious that everyone is like having a bug with it. But they haven't changed it, so they say that they listen to the forums the most. So I think if we all go and like make a post on the forums, maybe something will actually happen. You know? Maybe we'll actually get a fix for it. Because it's kind of a little bit crazy. Maybe mention the freedom units thing too. Oh, Level Wolf, that was you. Yeah, that's that sucks a lot. That you, you did that, you know? And that you thought that you're it was you, but it wasn't you. Yeah, that sucks a lot. So, does it do it in JWE too? I don't play J JWE, but if it does it in that game too, then oh my god! <laughs> hey, Thornhill Zoo, my old nemesis. You again? Oh, it'd be so cool if they were uh, able to jump from this into the water. Actually, a little bit tall. But um, since we saw that they can jump from trees or whatever into water, it'd be so cool if they, like, jumped in here. Harry, I'm with you, buddy, and I appreciate that. That's why I'm, like, reluctantly asking everyone. But, again, that's, like, Frontier is so stuck on forums that um, they want everyone and everything to go through forums to uh, get a hold of them. So, yep, that's the only reason why I bring it up, because because I've said a few times that if you want to get a hold of us, be sure to send it on the forums. I won't do the bug report. I've, I've, st I've stated my business about the bug reporter, about how useful it is. So I, I think if you just make a new uh, thread on the Planet Zoo, whatever, and if they tell you to submit it to the bug report, tell them no. Because the bug reporter is useless. <laughs> I think I've submitted three or four bugs on there and they've never been opened. Like, you can see the case status or whatever, and they've never even opened my bug report. So at a certain point, it's like, why would I send you a bug report? You don't even read them. <laughs> really, uh, Paleo, that's crazy. You haven't changed my mouse when it happened, but I have changed the batteries and didn't realize it was a bug. Yeah, that sinks. Yeah, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Cobra engine thing, right? Hey, just Gordon. What's up, buddy? It's late for you. Passive aggressive answer when well, you either get that or you get Frontier White Knights who tell you tell you to give them time to fix something that's been broken in the game for a year and a half. It's like how much more time do we need? Or you know, or can we get like a simple response or anything? Like it's okay to criticize a, a, a game. I promise it'll be okay. They're not gonna give you a cookie. They gave me a cookie. Onto the fence was decent bit away from the barrier frontiers. Twitter blame me. <laughs> what? But animals shouldn't walk through barriers? No, no. That's yeah. Yep. Oh, come on. Damn it. <laughs> this is taking 10 times longer to build. I probably should just load in a new, a new save or whatever. We would have been building without a hiccup here for the last few minutes. Eh, whatever. Did they give you four stale? No, they gave me three stale. They, three of them were stale a little bit, but there was one that was good. <laughs> But that was, I guess, the risk when they were sending uh, food like that, you know? I, I think it got uh, backed up because of the Suez Canal kerfuffle. I think we were supposed to get him a little bit sooner. Because the last few times I've gotten something from Frontier, it usually lines up right when the pack comes out. Like, they usually don't let it wait till that much longer. But um, this one, it came a little bit 
uh, later. So I think that either the the global trade situation or whatever kind of backed it up. But yeah, they were a little bit stale. They were cool looking, a little bit stale. <laughs> no, damn it. They're aware of the issues and looking into it. Yeah, I'm with you, Hobbit. I think that's a lot of people that um, they would wish that communication was just a bit more open. Yeah. That's why uh, Prehistoric Kingdom was a bit of a fresh air, or it has been a bit uh, some fresh air for a lot of the community. Just for the transparency that they've given uh, their community so far. So yeah, I think everyone's kind of in agreement with that, that more transparency and just more open communication from Frontier would be always amazing. And not to go totally radio silent for the next three months, because, you know, we're all kind of waiting for it. They're going to go silent and not really talk to Planet Zoo, except for, you know, as that stand always puts it, um, them telling us the size of a monkey's asshole every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> uh, don't see how the zoo... It's not, but it's exactly, it's a domino effect. Um, I, th I was watching a report on it, uh, and it was something like... 40% of the world's trade goes through there. So even if like something that you ordered wasn't um, gonna go through there, like the possibilities of it being backed up because of that event, like you said, a domino effect is is uh, huge. This wouldn't be a speed build without all the camera movement. It's not gonna be a speed build. <laughs> There's no way I can make this a speed build now. It would be terrible, but that's fine. All right, I like that climbing structure. I think that's pretty good. I think we have our proboscis uh, pretty well good there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's put in some habitat stuff there. Babarusa. Tapir. And monkey. We're taking a cruise, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're just taking a little, they're taking the long way around. Okay, so we have a forge box rich bit that they would like to use. We'll get that right up here. Nuts! How about that? A little bit better? A little bit better. Where's my big tree? There we go. Big tree. Stringwood Eucalyptus Tree 1. One of my favorite trees because of this reason right here. It is just such a... <laughs> it's just such a massive hunkin tree that, uh, yeah, just really... Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Dominates. There it is. Dominates an area. Also have a mud bath for our babarusas. Maybe we'll put that right here. No. I know, just, we're just gonna go on a ride. Here we go. <laughs> a bandicoot would work well for your small animal idea. Oh, there you go. Ooh, you know who would love that? Uh, Gecko is Estan. Estan's whole new zoo. Lost Creek is all about those small animal exhibits there. So, Bandicoot. There you go. It's a good tree. I like that tree. That's a good tree. Well, these are the scratching posts. Huh. We're going to use the Scott's Pine. I know it doesn't fit in thematically, but the trees that we're going to be putting around are going to be... Uh, the zoo's climate, essentially, so a lot of Scott's Pines and stuff like that. Oh, that's what I totally didn't finish. I am all over the place. <laughs> yeah, adorable little boys, yeah, yep. When compared to fucking Beach Tree 2, right. Not me or none of my homies mess with Beach Tree 2. 
We have vendettas against Beech Tree too. Uh oh. I just realized I have our keeper door there. And they're gonna throw him in here. Okay. That's fine. I fix. I fix, no worry, I fix. Yep, all my homies hate Beach Street too. That's what I always say. Can everyone get in and out of here? What say? Aha! Okay, proboscis. You can get in and out. You cannot. A Somali Wally donkey. Uh, he did a donkey. He made a donkey. TV license man. What the hell is a TV license? Do you need a TV repair man? I don't mind our TV repair man. I don't. Who, when's the last time someone had a TV repair man come to their place? Can you make it through yet? Oh, darn. Wait, wait, wait I gotta wait for it to update. I think it did update already. Alright, so they still can't make it through there. Darn it! They can make it through that. I know that for sure. Right? I mean, you have to. Yeah, there you go. Now you can make it through. Uh, in some countries, you have to pay for a TV license. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, it's a British thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Sweden, you need to pay a TV license for, like, a state-run TV channels in the UK, yeah. So if you didn't pay for it, would you just not get the BBC or whatever's equivalent in, like, uh, in Sweden? Or do you just have to pay to, like, watch any TV? Like, if you want to watch TV, there's no private, like, production companies or whatever? Or if you just don't pay, you just don't get to watch BBC, which... I don't know, yeah. <laughs> that one's a little bit different for me. I guess I'll keep it open like that. I don't know, I'm gonna revisit that backstage. I'm gonna revisit that backstage. Put a few more habitat things in there. Then you need to watch the BBC, which is effing ridiculous, cuts you 300 pounds a year. So again, is it... Yeah, even if you... Don't pay, they come knock on your door. Um, but if you haven't paid it and they see a TV here when they find you. So it's for all TVs. So if you want to watch TV, period, period, you have to have a TV license. It's not just like if you don't pay for it, you don't get these state run ones. So how does that work with private channels though? Like TBS and I mean, I don't know what y'all have over there, but like private run stations, you know what I mean? They're just apparent to the government like fines or whatever. Unless you live under a bridge, gotcha. If you have a flat house or rent one, you have to pay for public TV. Huh. Essentially, if you own a TV, you have to pay for a TV license. Yeah. Yeah, so how does that work with streaming then? Are you saying with streaming, they can't really enforce it? Because a, a computer or a laptop's not a TV. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Then yeah, is Netflix being streamed on a computer or desktop or laptop or whatever considered a TV. I'd say that's a monitor that happens to have images coming out or video coming out of it, but it's not on a TV. All right, I think that's enough stuff. 
of a Dutch TV show and planted to you to put it on Billboard. I'm not uh, placing dozens of dozens of staff members to get one that looks like a character. Yeah, no, have fun with that, buddy. You have fun with that. I think we're gonna put stalls right here. For laptops and smartphones, just because people watch the state run channels online as well. Oh, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Private stations like ITV are paid for by ads. Yeah, that's how they do it here. Like, all of our stations are paid for by advertisements. And if you don't make enough money in advertisements, then you go out of business, or we just don't watch you anymore. <laughs> that's our free market. Put in place for our TV. Yeah, I don't know that the government should... I mean, here's my two cents that no one gives a shit about, but... I, I don't know. That one, that one is kind of iffy for me. Having the, t the government decide that... You have to pay to watch TV. It's like, hey, if I don't want to watch the fucking BBC, I won't watch the BBC. I'll watch a private channel. <laughs> That's my limited knowledge response to that, I guess. But again, I don't know shit about shit when it comes to that, so. Ooh, we have some climbing animals in here, so we'll actually need the anti-climbing frames and stuff there. You live, you watch, you watch TV solution to the radio and the other opinion. Hmm. Interesting. Still runs commercials, but we have to pay so that they stay independent. Don't get me start. That I don't understand that. So they still run private commercials, so they're making an income. But they still make y'all pay? Game, stop, come on, no, come on, just let me go place the tree, game, please, I just wanna go place a tree, please, just let me go, oh, okay, fine, fuck me, oh, yeah, you did it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that at all, I don't, I don't see where the incentive is for the taxpayer, or where the benefit is from the taxpayer. It just kind of seems like a added cost, <laughs> or something every year, something to charge people 300 bucks, or something that sounds like it's getting paid for regardless. <laughs> all right. I will, if that ever gets brought up here in the States, I will be vehemently against it then. Because I, I just, I don't see the benefit for the taxpayer at all. Do, 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 do. Oh man, is Rodney being slow? There's Rodney. Dang it, Rodney. <laughs> 14 a month, more than half of a Netflix subscription. Oh my gosh. They better have some amazing TV programs on there. I know the BBC has a lot of really good ones that people always talk about. Can't vouch for any other, you know, places, but I do know that people always talk about the quality or the yeah, how much how many BBC, BBC TV shows and stuff that they like. Where I could, where you could get those? I don't know. Um I, it was either me or Wyatt Andrews built them. Um so I've just kind of always had them in zoo. Uh, so yeah, it was a custom build. It's not that hard though, if you want to build one kind of similar yourself. Here, I'll show you what they look like or what they're made out of and everything. Should that be better if I take this one? Here it is. So if you take your centering thing, which is you go in here, favorites, your centering thing, your column, your gridded column, mud column here. Start with that. That's your center point. Then find your center point. F, there you go. Um, but yeah, it's made out of the Planet Zoo plank thin painted four meters as your first bit. And then the second thing that they put on. Why is it selecting everything? I don't have shift selected. I don't know why it's selecting everything. So it's that and the new world decorative lights bracket, which is an awesome piece there. So yeah, use those two and then you build it with the, the column here, then you spin it around. Then you have yourself a nice little circular piece there.
<laughs> Harry, I'm gonna act like I didn't read that. <laughs> Just in case. Just don't forget we have we have quite a we have a good number of people that watch. You never know who's watching here. <laughs> Someone from the BBC is like, oh, there's Harry! Or whatever it's called. I've been looking for you. You owe me some money. <laughs> Can't watch uh, government TV without losing your mind because they just uh, bring crap folk music, boring German crime series. You have to watch it because it's education. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it, really. I don't get it. So, yeah, no problem, Erin. Hopefully that made sense. I know it was kind of a quick little tutorial on it, but yeah, just, um... <laughs> the keyboard is so messed up right now. <laughs> Look at what's happening. I can't even do anything. It's just, I put it, I put it down and it goes into Z automatically. It thinks I have a Z pushed all the time. There is something so wrong with the keyboard right now. It's crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> nice, Harry. <laughs> hey, have a good one there, Earring. Thanks so much for hanging out. We'll catch you later. I think I need to be done, too. Oh, man, it's almost five. I went a whole hour later than I normally do today. What the heck, everyone? Well, again, most of this build could have been done way quicker if the, uh, if the keyboard bug wasn't happening. But I'm just so, like, like almost lazy at this point, or just not wanting to reload the zoo that we're just going to deal with it <laughs> until I'm done. <laughs> Zoomies, yeah, I know it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, actually, let me take... Yeah, we had it over here. All right, was this an exhibit that I did all the dead stuff in? No. I wasn't on this map. I was on a different map. I just have to make them new. Is the building going to have a flat or pointy roof? Probably flat. Yeah, backstage buildings like that, they'll probably just have a flat roof on it. And if not, then I'll do a corrugated small pointy roof. Hey, welcome back, Genevieve. Yeah, if not, it'll have a, a small corrugated roof like this. But the way the shape of the building is and everything, I'll probably just go square. Because I made a little bit of an L, L roof. Gonna have now. Hey, Sofana, Bobana, a FIFA Fofana. Thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate you as always. Dang it. I feel like this stream became, or at least last hour, uh, guy complains about bug in game, basically, or bugs in game, and state run television. <laughs> Make every step take longer. Yeah, right? I know. Hey, what the heck? There's Dan Creates snuck in there. If you all don't know Dan Creates, awesome builder, awesome content creator. I believe there's, they just had a nice little moment on the old YouTube, right? Didn't you just have like a subscriber or view count or something like that that you had just hit? That was pretty awesome. It's always fun seeing creators, YouTubers, all, the, all them hitting different marks and stuff. Welcome back, Jake. Everyone's coming back in there. What's happening right now? I'm just doing a lot of random foliage and putting down dead things and stuff like that. We're about to wrap up the stream. I really do need to wrap up. We gotta start thinking about dinner.
Yeah, you know, little bits of uh, logs sprinkled around the place. All that kind of stuff makes it look better. In Tenji Cam and I wish you knew how to trigger because it's quite nice. Oh, that is kind of nice. Ah, 500 subs. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew it was something. You and Leaf, both. You and Leaf are both hitting some cool little monuments there. I didn't hit control. I di I'm not hitting control D. I'm just hit I'm pushing D. Oh my god, game. And now I'm just clicking and it like it thinks that I have shift held down right now. I hope everyone did go over to the forums and all post a, a bug report about this. This is so crazy. This this bug is just nuts. Talk about slowing down a build pro. See, look, I can't even move it over here because it thinks I have Z turned on for some reason. <laughs> I don't understand. Just nuts. All right, I think I am gonna wrap up there. We started to get a little bit of the full age done, but yeah, I, I can't really focus on the build fully while uh, while I know the camera is gonna start to freak out. So, but hey, overall, did a pretty good build there. It's nearly 11 in the UK. We gotta let our UK and European friends go to bed too. Oliver is gonna pass out soon. It's gonna be my fault. I know it. So, but. You know what? We did get a little bit done there. Really would like to have gotten more done, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so yeah, we, oh, you know what? We actually did get a lot done, because I forgot. We got this whole section over here done. Just about there. We got the Binturongs in. Let's unpause the game so we can see them uh, hanging out there. Are they still not up? They're still not hanging out up on top there. Um, we have the Binturong exhibit there as well. And then we have the start of our mixed species habitat too. Let's take a look at some of the animals in there. See them interacting with our little environment here. Yeah, it's only six and uh, Seabrus is gonna pass out. But yeah, I got, I'm gonna figure out the backstage building here. I don't really wanna just leave it with a big old gap in the structure like that. So I'll figure something out a little bit different. Maybe just do a whole backstage up and everything. But yeah, here are, here's the leftovers. Here's what we got done there. They gonna play with it? Nope, gonna take a shit. <laughs> it happens every time. Whenever I come and get really close to the animal, they always take a poo. Is this thing dirty? Is that what it is? It has a dirty coat? Huh, that's interesting. Let's see, I wanna see some of the proboscis climbing around, possibly. Speed it up a little. There it goes. Yeah, I wanted to see him climbing on it. Yeah, even if it was just for a little bit, they still climbed on it. Let's see what the underwater looks like so far. Actually, oh, you get a really cool view over here of the underwater and the climbing structure. Yeah, once we get this really foliaged up and really built in, uh, this is gonna look really cool right here. It was a little purple. That's why I was wondering if it was like mud, but no, it was definitely purple. It was definitely a little purple there, so. But hey, cool, that's pretty good. Um, that's gonna go ahead and do it for me today. I'm gonna jump off here. We did about a whole another hour, an extra hour of stream. Didn't mean to, but kind of happened. See, that, that's what happens there. We have a blue light. Well, blah, blah. we will be live tomorrow come on camera not now not now just let me end, end the stream there we go <laughs> we'll be live tomorrow at 11 a.m central standard time 12 p.m eastern there for our community showcase if you haven't already be sure to submit your community showcase items to our discord 
Here's a community showcase uh, area there. You can submit anything you'd like as far as uh, parks go, zoos, uh, foliage, you know, a rock piece, a habitat, whatever. You know, whatever you've made and you saved as a work uh, blueprint and you're, um, you're happy with it and you want to show it off, go ahead and send it on over there. And yeah, we'll be live with that tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. But yeah, hey, until then, thanks so much everyone for hanging out. Thank you to all of our new members and existing members for supporting the channel. And yeah, we will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.